And we are live. <laughs> That'll work. That'll right. work. So we've got uh, we've got a helping hand. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm just fine, man. How are you doing? Fantastic, man. Fantastic. So um, I've been waiting to, to stream with you for ages. You, you you've had a what's been the the, the problem? Your, your computer was too shit or something? Or? Oh yeah, I I am so happy. I just got rid of that piece of shit laptop. I've been working off of this ancient laptop that's been running Windows Vista and then just it has everything wrong with it that it could possibly have. I mean, it, it blue screens constantly. Like there's a bunch of my original files that I still need to bring over from it. But other than that, I'm about ready to throw that thing in a lake. I just put together a fucking monster of a gaming PC that is dead silent and it is just the best thing ever. <laughs> Nice one, and, and there's no there's no cum like encrusted all the fucking keys together and shit. It's, it's oh no, man, nope. <laughs> no, nice card for that, man. <laughs> and we've got friend Ed, uh, Adam. How are you, man? Good, good. How are you doing? Very good, very good. Hanging in there, surviving the YouTube, uh, Google fiasco, ongoing rolling out fiasco. Oh, just man, just I'm just surviving. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I'm, I'm doing it right. I, I just looked at. Um, did you see um, what's his name, um, Mr. Repsion's video uh, yesterday? He he put out a video, like showing how many of his his videos had been fucking demonetized, and it was like ninety nine percent of them. It was ridiculous. Really? Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, I yeah, saw I, that. I haven't looked into it yet. I mean, a couple other people. I mean, Computing Forever is apparently saying something about it too. Like. Yeah, uh, apparently uh, YouTube is starting their Orwellian bullshit again. So, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty full on. But I, I just checked mine be before we started streaming. I'm sort of like, there's a few gone, but I mean, m most of them are, are still green. I, I don't know, don't know what it is. I mean, I, I started going pretty light on on tags probably <laughs> oh, five five or six months ago. I think I think that's had something to do with it. Like if you just don't sort of tag at all like they they tend to miss you but i don't know yeah. it's just a, it's well just a guess. i mean with those little nuances i mean that being the case if they're going to do some crap like this to me they're choosing the right time because there's still a lot of things that i'm learning like i'm still not entirely sure if i'm tagging my videos in the most efficient way or you know honestly i, I don't really even know how to check if this is affecting my uh uh, any revenue that I'm getting from ads. And honestly, that wasn't even really stellar to begin with. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of ad revenue right now, but I, I just don't have the influence just yet. So yeah, yeah. If, there, if there was any time they could do this to me and get away with it without me knowing about it, it would be right now. <laughs> yeah. And what about you, Adam? Is it, is it, is it hit you hard? Or? No, well, I never really made any money off of ad revenue anyway. So yeah. I just always went the Patreon route. The thing that I consider is you know what what is the future i mean building building any kind of business on an unstable platform is not, not a great idea yeah. right so, right yeah well, it, I, I tell you what I'm, I'm i'm very very impressed uh at the moment with what you are doing I, I really am i, I when that when they started to arc up again you know last week a couple of weeks ago i, I sort of mm. thought oh, well, i better put a bit of um a bit of effort into VidMe, so i updated it all and i'm, I'm sort of keeping right on it and they've actually just launched a uh, a beta um you know, uh advertising uh monetization system so i've just signed up for that on vidme yeah, yeah on vidme yeah oh okay. um, and so and, and it's looking really good i noticed i think it's just been today um unless i'm seeing things you know that, that they've they've sort of reformatted and it's really streamlined and it really looks good but i've sort of yeah. been um you know, to asking people to sort of subscribe to me over there as well, just in case. I, yeah, know, I'm thinking that's. You. I'm thinking that's what I need to do too. I mean, yeah. uh, with especially on that uh, most recent video that I did addressing, you know, YouTube's creators for change bullshit. Uh, like s a bunch of people in the comments were mentioning VidMe, and like everybody should move over to VidMe. I'm like, I've I've yeah. heard of it and I've been there before, but I never really seriously looked into it. I'm thinking that's what I need to do now. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm up yeah. to 100 views on VidMe, so it's really gangbusters over there. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone, so, so uh, Phobos Media in the chat is saying, bearing if you tagged your videos on VidMe, you'd get way more views. Where do you tag them? Where do you fucking, 
Where do you tag the videos thing on Vidme too that is a little frustrating is that they don't have the feature that I use a lot on YouTube is to watch the videos at 1.5 speed. So if oh, you yeah. if you know anyone over there, I don't know if it's a tough thing to do or not, or if it's an easy thing to do, but I know a lot of people use that feature because you yeah, can watch more good. videos that way. I don't like it's not enough time in the day. To watch all the you, wouldn't, you, you wouldn't do it with like fucking Philip DeFranco. He's already fucking. He's already. Oh, I know. I, know. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't even cons- twice the speed. That's like. <laughs> I wouldn't even consider watching videos like that, man. That's like the beer bong approach to watching videos. Fuck that shit. <laughs> so many, yeah. so many live streams though are are very slow as it is. The people could talk considerably faster. I talk kind of slow as well, so I can I could see it being useful for people. Well, yeah. it's exactly the opposite for me, man. You've watched my videos. Like I'm still having a, I'm like, I'm probably doing better pacing myself these days than when I first started. But if you sped up my videos, I don't think most people will even be able to understand what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. 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 But the worst, the worst one is where you get like, you're watching a stream, you get like, like say, um, yeah, a really, a really quick talker talking to a really slow one. Like you, oh, go, right. you, go, you go one and a half and like the quick ones too quick and the slow ones like just right. There's, okay. There needs to be a 1.75. <laughs> <laughs> one point seven five. What 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 if we get what if we get your fucking what if we get your slider if we get your slider? Yeah, that's what I want. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what I want. We'll, we'll hey, it, we'll hey, speaking of streaming, do you know uh, there's a stream coming up this Saturday? Are you interested in Distributus versus Christy Winners? I know you've <laughs> you've gone round and round with Christy Winners. Oh, I have. Yeah, yeah. Where's where's that happening? Uh, she is debating the distributors, and the question is actually really good. I think I should pull it up. It's something uh, feminist related. I don't. Do you watch distributors videos? The guy is super smart, and I uh, don't think I do. I, I, really? Oh, he's. If you he's recommend great. him, I better go and subscribe to him. Though. He's uh, uh, he's like you could tell the guy has probably been in uh, debate class since he was in the fourth grade or something. Oh my <laughs> god. So it should be it should be interesting. Hopefully, it will be interesting. The the you remember the Sargon of Akkad Christy Winters debate from eons yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were just talking past each other. It wasn't really it wasn't yeah. really as interesting. Hopefully, this will be more interesting. And the question is a lot more interesting. Here, I'll see if I can find it for you. Well, I've just yeah. I've just subscribed and I've just uh, belled him. So um, yeah, yeah, Saturday it's it's ten a.m. my time, but. You're always up. good at catching the streams. The streams end up popping up in your videos, Bearing, before I even, before I even get a chance to see the stream. I'm like, how did I miss this? <laughs> yeah. Only if they're talking about me. I'll, I'll just my ear burns when they're talking about me. I'll go, how do you so, how so do you do that? Do they tag you or what? I mean, what's how that? do you how do you know that they're talking about you? Oh, people people contact me and go. Oh, oh okay, there me. you go. Talking about you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> see i've actually been keeping my ear to the ground hoping that i can catch somebody talking about me and i don't think anybody is just yet i think that's when i know that i'll have actually made it when somebody is when i've can pissed we, off somebody can we, can we, enough can we please get some people talking about um talking about helping hand some controversial shit about a helping hand i yeah. i got someone talking about me on a live stream about veganism which was kind of interesting i i feel you you do kind of get that oh they're talking about me behind my back <laughs> And well, now I wonder that without giving you shit. Uh not really. The the guy is he you actually did a video on him. His name's Jack Green. I think he was yeah, one yeah, of the no, first Jack vegans that he did the video on. He likes to stir controversy, Jack. Oh yeah. really? You think so? He's been pretty nice to me. Maybe he's well, just he, like, yeah, he, no, he, he, or something. He's a nice bloke, but he's uh he's he's um he's fucking what's that that fucking main vegan cunt's name? Um what, vegan, vegan gains. gains yeah yeah he's vegan gains like fucking like sort of like wingman he's, 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 he's like a tack dog so he, he'll yeah. sort of go and pick fights oh and then go God. hey vegan gains i've got this guy got a debate let's let's kind of debate him sort of thing. then they'll end up debating I'm, him i'm surprised I'm, vegan gains even needs a fucking attack dog the guy's already pretty much frothing at the mouth as it is <laughs> besides we know he wouldn't feed a do- an attack dog right anyway so yeah. I am supposed to do a debate with Ask Yourself and Vegan Gains was wanted to get into the debate. But I oh, yeah. I said no because I'd rather debate them one on one and I would have to bring like four people on a stream is just I mean it's a nightmare. It's yeah. a clusterfuck. 
and they play off each other. They got these. They got these questions that you can't really fucking answer. It's like, oh, fuck <laughs> it. I don't really fucking care. All right? Just fucking good on you. You you win, all right? Veggies rule. Yeah, I used to clip. I used a clip from your stream with him and and Vegan Gains and Kraut and T in my last video. Yeah. Sorry, you, you did what? I used a stream from the I used a clip from the stream of you bearing Kraut and T and Jack Green in yeah. my last video on veganism. Yeah. And I heard Crown T was uh, didn't like his performance in that debate. So. Yeah, you apologize. Fuck it. You didn't even tell me. <laughs> I had a crack at him. I said, you fucking idiot. What did you fucking apologize for? He's like, oh, I felt bad because I did my, my argument had no substance. I said, yeah, he, did. he made great points. That's why I was like, what are you talking about? You, he made some great points in there. Yeah. And you were totally intuitive the whole time, which was great. Oh, I, I, was, I was great... pretty quiet because I didn't give that much of a fuck, to be honest oh, with you. Oh, I know. <laughs> but you did say something really interesting because they said, what would you do if animals could talk? Would that change anything? And you were like, fuck yeah, it would. <laughs> Are you imagine, could you imagine like if your dog started talking to you? Or if the cow started talking to you, please don't eat me. Okay, yeah, it's, it's yeah, off. You'd, yeah, you'd have to be a bit of a cunt to fucking <laughs> and eat it, wouldn't you? Uh, just quickly, uh, right-wing BDSM guy says, sup, B-man. Drunk and feeling a little generous. Well, thank you, uh, right wing BDSM guy. Drink more, drink more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, Jewel Wield says, Donate to bearing now, you cunts. Also, hi, Phobos. I like your style. Uh, and Timothy says, Hey, bearing ranting monkey says, You like to tongue butter turtle caves. I don't know okay. what that <laughs> means, but certainly do. <laughs> How did Ranting Monkey find that out, bearing? That's what we all really oh, want. Oh, me and Ranting Monkey are pretty close. We we talk. <laughs> We talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, fucking uh, the Google manifesto, if that hasn't been talked about <laughs> enough, uh, what are your thoughts? I was hoping we were going to talk about that. Mm. See, I so have you, yet you, to you, actually hear anything about this, but I'm pretty sure anything I do here, I'm not going to be surprised. <laughs> so you don't, it's you a, don't it's a basic story? No, I don't. Like I've I've been seeing it mentioned around, but I haven't gotten a chance to actually see any of the, of the videos addressing it just yet. <laughs> oh, shit, shit. Do you want like, to? That's, that's not a bad thing. Let's. You want to give them the background, and then anyone else that doesn't know will know. Oh, I was I was, was going to suggest. Do, do you want to unlock your silky? I'll smooth do it. Voice? Okay. You, you <laughs> the uh, so the this Google Google memo they're calling it. They're calling it the anti diversity memo. <laughs> they're calling it the Google <laughs> manifesto. Now Lux. they're calling them. Now they're calling him Google Bro. Oh God! As like, a, as, as like a sly put down, but this guy, who is a, seems like a very quiet guy. I don't know. Have you watched any of the interviews with him, Bering? I watched two oh, interviews. I, I, I watched ha about half of the um of the fucking Peterson one. Ste yeah. Oh, the Peterson one. The Stefan Molyneux one is just uh like. Stefan talks ninety percent of the time in oh, it, and I just I wanted to hear his like <laughs> I wanted to hear his story. I know, I know Stefan's opinion already. For goodness' yeah. sake, right? He, Stefan would have fed him his opinion. Well, this is this is what you. Oh, think. he did. He totally <laughs> did. Which was, That's what he's like, good for, man. He's like, dude, dude. But the guy's pretty quiet. Uh, Peterson did a good job because, and I would suggest watching that video if you're interested. Peterson actually goes through the manifesto. So you can, uh, you said manifesto. Now I'm saying manifesto. I think they called well, it a what, memo. What, what's your word choice? What, what do you say? Memo, memo. I think is the least. Like manifesto makes it sound like we're gonna round up these everyone's women. Calling, everyone's calling it manifesto though. Oh, is that a, if really? I've been brainwashed by the mainstream media? Man, manifesto just has, like the the Unabomber had a manifesto. Okay, it's just yeah. manifesto. Does it, it, it sound a little bit like a round up the Jews sort of? Sort of it sounds ne it sounds nefarious. It really does. It I don't know. Does. The first thing I think of when I hear manifesto is the communist manifesto. And yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. It's, I'll, I'll, I'll refrain from calling it manifesto. It's, it's memo. Okay. From you on. As soon as you call yeah. call it a manifesto, you know you're going to be being preached to. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but that's an interesting point because it wasn't at all preachy. It was just saying, hey. Uh, in the Stephen Molyneux interview, he mentions Jonathan Haidt very early on. And Jonathan Haidt runs this 
this organization called the Heterodox Academy. And his ultimate goal is trying to get some kind of viewpoint diversity out there and to try to stifle some of this hate that's going on between left-leaning and right-leaning groups. And that was mm -hmm. the crux of the Google memo was saying, hey, you know, you're, at, you're pushing this diversity at us and it's not exactly easy to, it's not always easy to meet these diversity quotas without sacrificing the meritocracy. And here mm -hmm. are some of the reasons why that might be the case. And he actually cited some scientific research, stuff that you've used in your videos, bearing stuff that I've used in my videos, stuff that is, I mean, I looked up one of the studies today, we were talking on uh, Twitter about like, I, it's congenial adrenal hyperplasia, which I'm probably destroying that. They call it CHP. But mm -hmm. this study was done in 2002, okay? That's quite yeah. some time ago. But it, they tested women in, in while they were pregnant to test for levels of testosterone. And the higher the level of testosterone, if the woman has a girl, that girl tends to be a tomboy and tends to be interested in male uh in male toys in male subjects so i mean i wouldn't be surprised if the fact that they have 20 percent engineers at google is a fact that just to do with this c h a thing but i mean if you can't even have that kind of conversation without uh google firing you from your job and the whole entire internet coming on and calling you sexist you know, mm. how, how, are, how are you supposed to make any kind of advancements? So he, he basically made this innocuous thing that the media is turning into, uh, he's just a misogynist. You, well, we've all heard this before because we've all been called this kind of stuff. Right. Is, is that about right, Baring? It is, yeah. And, and look, basically, he, he talks about, um, you know, just the, 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 the differences basically between men and women, you know, women, women tend to prefer uh, dealing with people and, and, and are more uh, empathetic and, and blokes tend to like dealing with things, you know, taking apart machines, they're more, more systematic. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's a study with babies too, which is like mm -hmm. before they all want to make this social, uh, what, what do they call it? The, like it's all society that's shaping these, that, you know, our perception of women being this way is, yeah, is what's doing it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, 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 there's uh, I, I see morally grazes in the chat. Um, he, he'd be, he'd be a great addition to this conversation. Do you mind if we invite him? If he's available? Sure. Yeah. No, bring him sure, on. Man. Okay. Hey, uh, great. I'll send you a, a, a link if you're available. I tried to paste the name of that thing into the chat, but it didn't work. The name of? Can't, can't paste into the chat. Congenial adrenal hyperplasia. You should if be you throw that out in a debate against Christy Winters, guess what's going to happen? <laughs> she'll, pr she'll, pr she'll pretend she knows what it is and tell you you're wrong. I'll, I'll guarantee it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't know. That's what I think most people on the left don't really understand is they wonder why this conversation has become so damn unpleasant. And it's because on, because of the way they're conducting themselves, it's not a conversation. It's not even allowed to be a fucking conversation. They mm -hmm. just find something that doesn't something in reality that doesn't conform to their ideology and they way mm -hmm. they wish things are. And they just, you know, throw labels at it until they, you know, essentially think they've made it go away. They do everything they can to silence it. And the only way we're ever going to be able to get on the right path is if we observe reality for what it fucking is, yeah. you know, and but the, but this guy's not going at, <laughs> this guy's not going at it like undoom style or, you know, there are, are I mean, th this guy was completely innocuous. Like he's not mm -hmm. out there. He's not out there making fun of his coworkers. Oh, he's right. a pussycat. Yeah. He, he was very um, yeah, totally. He, he was very um, diplomatic about it, yeah, and, and he, 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 you get the feeling he genuinely wants to improve Google. That that was his uh, that yeah. was his aim. Um, not not that not that there's not a place for the undoom style. I totally think there is. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's. I'm just, I'm just saying there's there's a wide range of ways to deal with these things. And when you can't even deal with them in the most innocuous way, it kind of forces you down the spectrum to the less innocuous ways because you just want to be heard. That's, yeah. yeah. 
How, how funny was it? How I mean, yeah, you know, part of part of his sort of um, his memo said, you know, women are, you know, there was something about, um, you know, ne neuroticism in there, and and no. you know, <laughs> and, and that sort of shit. And and the memo comes out, and they fucking prove his point. They they like, well, yeah, heap of women get get triggered and have to take days off. <laughs> Did you did you watch the the CBS uh, video that I sent you? I sent I DM'd you a CBS video. Oh that no no was... I couldn't I couldn't watch it because I'm in Australia. It's a, it was region oh, really? region restricted. Yeah. Damn I'll, it! I'll have to, I'll have to watch it with a VPN. Yeah, if you can, I mean, it's ripe for a response to because it is. I mean, it's on the level of the response that you did to the 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 news organization that covered the red pill girl what's her name cassie J. Oh, right. oh okay yeah Yo. yeah yeah it, it is it is hey, so hey what's up morley good good i'm sweet we're just talking about the uh the google not manifesto the google memo <laughs> memo <laughs> yes yes i have gathered yes see now Thoughts? i'm just waiting for the day then we actually start calling legitimate manifestos memos to try to downplay it <laughs> Because you oh, know that's going to be their no. next approach, right? Globalization. Uh, did you get that memo about exterminating white people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 What are your What are your thoughts, Gray? Have you Have you been been following this? I have been following it from a different perspective. I'm far more interested in the AI learning programs that they're employing because we've already <laughs> no, no, seriously, we have already seen this bullshit with good old Candid. Remember that program that you shilled I, bearing? I yes, do. I do. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so that employed a rather interesting little censorship AI, and now we've got a very similar thing playing out with the YouTube situation and Twitter mm. and probably Facebook in the future as well. I'm really interested in tackling it from the perspective of, okay, what can we see in the future from these systems, these AI systems? Because they are improving, but not in the right way we want to see them, or at least for us, because like it's, yeah. it's one of those things of who sort of codes the AI to think that something is harassment versus not, and it seems to be rather in this very scary, authoritarian, progressive, fucking right. whatever you want to call it, Oh God! Oh God! Well, I know computing forever. Not you know, quite some time ago. Before I even started my channel, he made a point about uh, people now having the ability to uh, write the subtitles for videos, and you know, yeah. YouTube being able to use those subtitles as metadata to look for shit to censor. And yeah, yeah it, uh, well, I'm surprised that. we haven't seen that happening yet. <laughs> but, but I mean, that's that. That's so many fucking man hours. Like. I don't think any of my videos have been subtitled by anyone else. Has anyone else had that happen? Yeah, I suppose we should uh, just be grateful that your standard SJW, while being an ideological fireball, also has the work ethic of a fucking slug. So. <laughs> I, I do remember. I do remember with uh, good old Woz Lee. You guys all know Woz, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Fucking, fucking hilarious. I love his videos. I yeah, love his animation. Yeah. But there was a point when he was when we were all freaking out about the sort of um, the subtitles thinger, and he posted a video of his with the auto subtitles, and it's just radically incorrect. He's just like, I'm okay <laughs> with this. I don't know if he fears. <laughs> It's brilliant. Yeah, there's a there's a video that we did. There was a live stream that we did on Sugar Tits channel. We did it with um with the, the Warskis and uh, some black guy. And it was, yeah. this, it was this ridiculous, outrageous fucking like, story that Sugar Tits dreamt up. And like, there was, a, there was a typical black dude, there was a typical Asian dude, there was an Aussie, and there was like a, you know, a, an Asian you know, hooker sort of thing. And, and every, <sighs> what? so like some black guy would be the Asian and I'd be the black guy. And like, you know, the, the Asian from the Warskis would be fucking, you know, the, the Australian. Did, did Sugar Tits write that? Was that something yes. she wrote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, that is wrote, hilarious. I mean, yeah, she oh, wrote that in the night. And it's, it's, <laughs> I've, I've never done it, but apparently if you watch that with the with the auto subtitles on, it is <laughs> fucking hilarious. Like just what it's what it spits out. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna have to do that later tonight. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I've been meaning to do it for ages. Um just quickly, um who are we? Uh sweeper Steven says, Hi Barry, I was told by Ranting Monkey that you like to tongue butter the turtle cave. Lol. Oh, I've got a feeling something's going on here. This, this, You're being this harassed. Thing. This is, I, think I know that was harassed. that's a repeat, right? Come on. What is butter? No, no, we want more this, interesting this, facts. This is a new subject. What is butter the turtle cave? I feel I am being harassed here. And yeah. the geth says, "Can you ask Google why PewDiePie is never trending despite having 56 million subscribers?" That's a good point. Uh, maybe it's because half of the planet thinks he's a Nazi now. <laughs> like, because he's a Nazi. 
Yeah. So, so, so why didn't you include uh, something about Peter Coffin's Asian girlfriend in your last video, Barry? Well, because I didn't want to fucking, I didn't want to sort of get too hard on the girl. You're a pussycat now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I keep telling him I'm a you're nice like, You're like, I, I want my monetization on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, you should, you should, you should tell the boys that that story. You should, are you guys, uh, Gray and uh, and Handjob, mm -hmm. are you guys aware of the um, the Peter Coffin, uh, fake Asian girlfriend story? I, I can't say that I am, but I, am I would love to hear this. <laughs> yes, please. Just, I don't, I don't know that I know the whole story. I, Ajar told me Google Peter Coffin's Asian girlfriend, and if you Google yeah. Peter Coffin's Asian girlfriend, evidently he did. He came up with a fake Asian girlfriend and made oh. a, like a profile for her and everything. Oh. And you just one of the cardinal rules is you do not lie to the internet because the yeah. internet will always find out. <laughs> yeah, that's and how you invoke so the wrath of the internet. <laughs> yeah, totally. But he's this outspoken male feminist, right? But that mm. creates all these kind of contradictions. Like, <laughs> why? What? How is that? It doesn't. I don't know that uh, from the just trying to put yourself in the mindset of a feminist. Doesn't that yeah. seem a little sexist? I don't know. And, and, and not only and that, I, I, I heard that it's in, in fact, uh, what's his name? Philip. I was watching a Philip DeFranco video about it uh, just before. Yeah, me too. Philip me DeFranco too. mentions that uh, that in the context of it just being just a, a white guy, just just with a fake Asian girlfriend, and it not really being an Asian girlfriend. Some of the stuff was pretty edgy. It could have been pretty racist, you know. If it's just coming oh, from yeah, a, yeah. just coming from like if it was just coming from an Asian girl, not fair enough, get away with it. But if it's if it's if it's just him, it's it's a bit, uh, bit risque. But so, eight eight months, eight fucking months, eight, eight months. He, he put kept up, it up it, for eight months. Eight oh, months he carried on for eight months. Eight months? Conversations with, with himself, like just bantering with himself. <laughs> wow, so, so I mean, there's dedication. Like, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> the top hit on Google, the top hit on Google is March twenty fourth, twenty eleven. So what's that? Six years ago, and it's internet comedian Peter Coffin's fake Asian girlfriend outed, and it's in the Village Voice, which the Village Voice is huge in New York. That's like a what's major that? publication. Is that a newspaper or something? It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a popular newspaper in in New York and Brooklyn. So, yeah, so I guess so, the girl. So so, so what happened? Know about was, it, um, he he. He was he got in a fight with some chick, and this chick blocked him, right? And so <laughs> then he, he started um, going at this chick with his girlfriend, his supposed girlfriend's profile. Mm. And th this chick was like, "Hey, this is um, this is sounding very similar to Peter Coffin." So so she did a um, a Google image search, <laughs> and, and, and the fake Asian <laughs> girlfriend ended up being some like pop star from fucking from South Korea. <laughs> oh man. God. <laughs> oh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to believe that immediately. This is the first I've ever heard of it. I'm oh, mate. I will, I will fucking link you the, the old link. No, I'll look it up. Phil DeFranco doesn't lie, right? He's, he's got sweet eyes. He doesn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I think we can all feel... I mean, I agree with you, Barry. It is, I do feel sorry for him. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you're in that position, actually, like we've all known that one kid in high school. So, <laughs> yeah. So, but your video today, like, yeah, man. what's his, what is his thinking? He's just parroting the talking points. I mean, well, these people don't think for themselves, do they? No. Yeah. I, I well, think well, you figured I, that out a long time ago, man. <laughs> yeah, I do get the impression that he's just, unfortunately, he's just watched the, the fucking, you know, the mainstream news outlets and gone, oh, well, there's a, there's a story. I'll do a video. I mean, the blokes, the bloke just, Legit did have a have a baby last week, so his oh, wife okay. did anyway. Oh, okay. Um, so, so he's probably starved of time. He's thinking, oh fuck, I've got to make a video. He's 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 totally. looked at that. He's gone bingo, you know. And so it's kind of understandable, but it's kind of not because he because he get, he gets pretty vicious. He goes, you know, this guy should be fired, and he he should not be employed by anyone else. You know, legitimate until he fucking like you didn't have to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dial it back a bit. Mm. Yeah. I don't have to watch that video. I only basically just woke up and I was like, oh, a live stream. 
Yeah, man. For the past 72 hours, I've been just entirely indisposed. And there's a lot of shit that apparently I'm not aware of right now. I need to look up this uh, Peter Coffin story because, Mm -hmm. you know, just in the small amount of details that I've heard here, it's it's something I'm definitely going to want to say something about. I mean, just the the fact that, you know, certain things that he would say through that sock puppet of his only became unacceptable when it was outed that it was actually him (laughs) actually goes to it, it speaks a lot about, you know, what what the real problem with racial stereotypes is. It's, yeah. it's not really a matter yeah. of what's true. It's a matter of who's allowed to say what's true. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but it, uh, it, it is a thing, isn't it? It, it, it is the, it is, is just the way is it is. Cough, is Peter Coffin cool? Would he come on the stream? I wish. I don't, I don't, I don't think he would know. I don't think okay. he would. I think well, he follows me on Twitter. That's why I'm oh, you can him. You can him. I, follow, I follow him on Twitter. Too. Yeah, I don't know why he followed me, and I looked at his account, and it's it's a sad, like he's got a, I don't know, three hundred fifty thousand subs or something like that. But he, uh, he it's like just, Steve, over, just over two, just over two hundred, I think. But um, it's like Steve Shives territory, though. I mean, he gets. I mean, yeah, I get. Yeah. I probably get more video views than him. Or yeah, just, you probably would. It's very, probably it's very would. sad. Yeah. So do you uh, did you did anyone see the statement by Susan? Is it would. Chicky, I don't know if I'm <laughs> fucking knows, man. No, C- no, C- she's CEO of YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I know. Came out, about it, but I just can't she came it. out hard against the Google memo. She, she, oh, oh, did she? In, wait, in she, in what direction did, yeah. do you mean by hard? Like <laughs> in string them up. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. The, the the amount of harm he's done to society and her oh, no. her daughter, her personal daughter is. No, nah, she she came out with one of those stories that was my daughter looked at me this morning hmm. and oh, asked me, "Mommy, is it true about women not being as good? <laughs> oh my at god, okay. engineering yeah. like that is the, the Google bro says." It's, <laughs> That no, is the fastest no. way to make sure that I don't give a fuck about your opinion. Is to play, <laughs> to play the think of the children <laughs> angle. I don't yeah. care. But it's it's difficult to say if it's honest, though. I mean, how old's a kid? I don't know. I'm. It's yeah. maybe it's like. It turns out her daughter's actually like twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> <And drink. laughs> but so she sorry. is. She first of all, she is. She's the CEO of YouTube, right? So she's a very powerful woman, and I don't think any of us deny that there are very powerful women in the world. But yeah. my question is: There's this C. A H thing. These women that are born with higher levels of prenatal testosterone that you know we have commonly throughout the generations called tomboys, mm. and I just wonder mm. if they, you know, they see the world through men's eyes more than women's eyes, and they just assume all women are like them. And you know, men are are we're beating up the guy who's at the back of the line, right? Like, catch right. up, you know, be a man for heaven's sakes, right? Yeah. So why aren't these CAH girls just doing the same thing with, with women? But the women are like, what are you talking about? We're well, women. there's probably more nuance to it than, than just uh, testosterone. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's you can't just turn somebody's testosterone up and all of a sudden they turn into a fucking man. I mean, I'm pretty they sure there's more to this- it than that. Here, let me just stop calling it CAH. Let me call it congenital adrenal hyperplasia because it makes it sound more serious. They have studied it's a mouthful, this. man. <laughs> they have studied this quite a bit. Like they've done tests with women where they've taken the level of testosterone before the child was born. And uh, then they've looked at the children th- uh, at three and a half years old. And they're totally into boy stuff. Yeah, there's like a major correlation there. Like they could do a test where they just take like five thousand pregnant women and do this test with them and find out how common it is. It would be very interesting if they knew like twenty percent or fifteen percent or eighteen percent of the population gets this kind of condition. Females get this kind of condition, and those stats just happen to match up perfectly with how many women are going into STEM. I think that's a powerful correlation that you might want to look into. Out of, yeah. out of interest, on, on the topic of like the, the differences in testosterone, um, 
my uh, my my mother used to work in the um, the nursing industries, and there's a lot of abuse in the nursing and in, in the like aged care industries. If you've if you've ever known about that, like mm-hmm. a lot of abuse. There's a lot of studies. I, I remember just off the top of my head reading one where they were looking at a number of these abuse claims, and they sort of like tracked down these people and started talking to them, and they found that the people who were ridiculously like the the bullies of the workplace and whatever. Um, they had their higher testosterone levels. Now, yeah. that's just coming off the top of my head. That's not really related to anything else. I'm just like, oh, I remember that. So I thought that was really interesting. The the bullies of the female variety were like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Which, I thought, which I thought was a little interesting. So, yeah. I better catch up on those super chats, guys. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting yeah. bad here. I'm getting fucking bad novel here. there. Someone's fucking someone's, Jesus someone's Christ, you get twenty dollar super chats, mate. Who's so doing Kevin a, Logan? A very dead horse has cut Peter some slack. He probably didn't have time to research. He just had a baby. I mean, he's probably still sore. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a nice reversal there. Well done. <laughs> PC Robot says, someone said a group of blokes are tonguing turtle caves. Please explain, Bering. Wouldn't have a fucking clue. I'm going to find out that. Uh, Zenith says, just so you know, Bering, on behalf of all ranting monkeys chat regulars, I apologize. Monkey doesn't endorse the actions of Sweeper. What the fuck? Fucking, and Matthew Robinson says, fuck all, but he donates $20. Thank you, Matthew. Dude. Oh, look at that. And James, James says, why don't you say something, James? That's, that's 100 bucks, mate. Fuck yeah. down. Could have at least fucking cut or something. What the fuck? What, are you uh, not seeing the yeah. Kevin Logan chat? Kevin Logan is a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, they, they, they or are we not, or are we not allowed so to do that one? They clearly want me to say something. So they it's like 20 it minutes. <laughs> right. So, uh, Kevin, Kevin Logan is... Hang on, be quiet, because they'll, 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 they've paid for this. They want the sound bite, right? Kevin Logan is the love child resulting from a one-night stand between myself and Fisty at a Bon Jovi slash Cinderella concert. Standing oh, up, Standing up in a Porter John... Wasted on shrooms. I had to get that off my chest. It's, it's true. It's all true. Come on, you you can do better. That's what on it would that. take. Had, <laughs> you you hey, can I'll, do better on that. I had to get it off my, my chest. Buzz Come feet. on, show some emotion, yeah. bearing. I just had to get that off my chest. <laughs> and, and, and onto hers. <laughs> <laughs> off my chest and onto hers. Nice. So like, when that, I'm, just, when that, I'm, just, I'm just I'm just investigating something. You know, I, I'm got a sneaking suspicion that fucking ranting monkeys streaming at the moment. Hey, hey, oh, that might be. Up. Hey, when that clip pops up, I want to direct it by you. I got the emotion out of him. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where is where are these ranting monkey fucking things coming from? See, is, is it coming from? Is it coming from? Is it coming from cognitive thoughts thing? Let me just check. This. He ain't streaming. He was he was in the chat early on. So cognitive thought is not streaming. I have eyes on the chat. If anyone has any questions on. Uh, on any of the stuff we're talking about. For a second, I thought I I thought I heard you say that cognitive thought hates streaming. I'm like, no, he doesn't. No, he yeah, doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, have you seen that, like his his giant feud with Spinosaurus Ken or whatever the fuck he's calling himself still nowadays going lately? On? I don't is, know is if it's going on happening? still, but I caught the last uh, like I, I I caught at least the last video that he did about it, like maybe about a week or so ago, and it was fucking savage, man. I've never seen anyone rip into him that hard. <laughs> In, in Spinosaurus Ken is a kid, so I mean, yeah, I know uh, it's. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't, like, he, doesn't he have like some to be well. expected, right? Right. Mm. I I don't really. I'm not really sure what my opinion is on him right now. I mean, I know in in you know the earlier days of his channel, he definitely had my respect, especially being as young as he was. But mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. It's he is very much a kid though, and a lot of these things. I don't want to say that I, you know, I gave him a pass on, you know, because it's acceptable because he's a kid or whatever, but whatever. I, I, I just don't want to like eat his face like cognitive thought. Apparently, I give him a pass, I, I give him a pass too. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. He like you're allowed to say fucking idiot, kid. Mm. You're forgiven. <laughs> okay, let's sure. move on. Yeah. Right. He, he reckons. He reckons I'm no intellectual powerhouse. Did you know that? I don't know. I, or, yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard him say that. <laughs> or or know. Spinosaurus can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, I don't Bering's, know. I, Bering's no intellectual powerhouse. Be, be, before then, you, why are your videos funny. more successful than his? Yeah. Checkmate. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> well, I'm going to say that it was an ad cop fallacy. 
He would say hey, my video. When you got these many Netflix. subscribers, you're allowed to do fucking ad pop, fellas. He's motherfucker. Yeah, mate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's... I'm, I'm only joking. Hey, let's 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 go and say hi to uh, Cognitive Thought. You, you, does it, can everyone open a new page? Go to Cognitive Thoughts chat and say, "Bearing sends kisses." <laughs> what X? What is what X is... for? Like kiss, hug, kiss. Bearing sends kisses. <laughs> X O X. Is so is we... he actually streaming? He is actually streaming. So oh, oh, in his in his chat, I want to see Bearing sends kisses XOX a heap of times. If we, if, there if you we are. Play. Cognitive. That'd be fantastic. This will be funny. So I believe in you. I believe in you, chat. I believe in you. So uh, so what happened with so what is is all on no, that's, that's going to be a title. Hang Bearing on. sends kisses XOX. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yeah, cool. Cool. I like it. I like it. People are saying Sargon is banned on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Is this, That's is new? this real? Hang on. I'm seeing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sargon. Following. Fucking hell. <laughs> Bearing said he did. That's not just Holy shit. <laughs> He's suspended. <laughs> oh my god. Sargon yeah, was suspended Sargon again. Gets... He's a, he gets he, fucking suspended every day. I wonder yeah, if it was for gay porn this time. A bunch of times. Mm. I mean, uh, that was, that having was the kind of too. influence that he has, I imagine it's impossible to do anything without making a big splash pretty much everywhere you go. But sometimes I kind of I have to think that he's provoking it. Like he he wants this shit <laughs> to happen. How much? How much? Do, all this Google stuff that's going on. Do you think is them being? feeling some kind of remorse for Trump. Do you think they feel somewhat responsible for his election? R remorse or revenge? <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably a little bit of both. To be somewhere honest. in the gray area between those That's two. Great yeah. point. Yeah. But I mean, they, they're, the, there's a change going on. More people are, they were starting to, maybe before the election, they didn't realize how many people were influenced by online stuff. And now that they're starting to realize that, and they got a result that wasn't something they wanted. I mean, a lot of liberals were just blindsided by the election <clears throat> of Trump. And Ooh, his, yes. his, uh, his, every, everything that's been going on has, they've been constantly upset about. So, Mm. Yeah, and they, and they, they overplay it, don't they? They massively overplay it. Like you notice, you notice. Uh, I forget who said it. I think uh, some one of the news presenters said it the other day that you know they they, they always think that Trump's going to be impeached in the next few months. You know, there's only a few months to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't that's think that's so, going to happen. No, I yeah, do totally. I do but that's we're getting their hopes up. up. They're getting they're getting people's hopes up with that kind of talk. The other right. thing I, I mean, there's been entire websites that have gone up because of it, and like basically based around the whole prediction thing. And like, when is Trump going to get? Uh, when is he going to basically be fired? And like, Bet on they're going to be doing this throughout his. They're going to be doing that throughout his entire term. I promise. I, you. I think it's. I think it's actually really interesting. Like when we when we were looking at the election, like because I was on the day, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's got a big good shot at it. But when you look at the polling data, of course, the polling data radically said that, nope, it was going to be Hillary 100%. There's no chance horrible. in hell. Blah, blah, blah. Move on. Um, we're kind of seeing the same sort of thing at the moment with his opinion polling. I don't know if you guys have either ever bothered to like look into how they're doing oh, their yeah. opinion polling. Their opinion no. polling is just as flawed as what it was before. Like, we we got to come to terms with the fact that Trump was only if we first passed the post beaten by money um votes it's something what three million i think it was at the final count that he was beaten by so you yeah. still got only three million less in numbers that we're dealing with millions you know mm -hmm. like there's a sizable amount of people that had to vote for trump to get him in yeah. uh, these opinion polls uh everyone's like oh he's got the lowest opinion rating in history i don't know about that man yeah, yeah. Like, I really don't know about that. Your your sampling methods are disgusting. Your sampling yeah, methods are like, hey, good. who's in the office? Do you guys hate Trump? Yeah, we do. Okay, well, it's <laughs> fucking it's terrible, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> if there's one recurring lesson in all of the, the butthurt backlash opinions against Trump's election, it's consider the source. I mean, seriously, always. Anytime you hear anything like that, his opinion... You know his opinion polls are the lowest in history. Well, consider the source. Like like you said, the they're oh, right. yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> their methods of gathering those opinions in the first place are skewed as hell. So, yeah. I just read the book Shattered Inside the Hillary Clinton's Doomed Campaign. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was pretty. It was pretty hilarious. Yeah, she really? she had, they had all kinds of trouble, and they had they uh, they Obama built this analytics team that they were really able to drive votes with people online, uh, with people communicating th through Facebook and Twitter and social media and those kind of things. And they had a similar analytics. Hillary Clinton had a similar analytics team too. And she just put all her faith in this analytics team. Mm -hmm. And they didn't do any of the traditional stuff that they do, their own you know, call poll. They do a lot of different metrics. So they were completely in the dark as well. And I mean, you could tell that on election night. In the very end of the book, they talk about how, remember how on election night, I don't know if you guys watch the election covers, but she- Oh, I did. We were yeah. waiting for her to come out. We were waiting for her to come out. Like, is yep. she going to concede yeah, or whatever? Did, she? She yeah. Like, did. Did, no, I don't think she talked until the next day. Podesta, but they mm. were talking in the book. So first of all, in order to do one of these books, they have to like sign in blood that none of this is going to get leaked out until after the election. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> But they're interviewing people who are just so once they sign all those blood contracts, they're just speaking their mind and shit, right? So there's all kinds of stuff in here about how she couldn't make a decision, and and there was one uh, one of the interviews that she was supposed to do after the after the email scandal blew up. She wanted to do with this particular reporter that was going to give her this softball interview. And she told Huma Abedin the, the name of the reporter, and Huma Abedin told somebody else, and I think they told somebody else. And after this, like, a this accidental telephone, she got a totally different reporter. <laughs> like, oh, no. why wouldn't you put that in writing? Like, why would you do yeah. something? Why would you do something that idiotic? And then on the, I, I never finished on the campaign night, but on the campaign night, they barely had a a concession speech roughed out that they were like writing in 25 <laughs> minutes before uh, the, the, before she was going to go out and concede. So it was just a total train wreck. Didn't she get, <laughs> uh, didn't she get violent? Didn't she? I, I thought I heard she was hysterical. Where did I hear that from? No, I, there, there, someone, uh, when I was reading the book, someone on one of the streams I was on was saying she was an al alcoholic. And I was, yeah, I, I was saying, <laughs> but I, there's no, I was telling him there's no evidence of that in the book or anything. And then I think it was because uh, they were totally losing in the first half of the book, but then she had some wins once the debate came around and then the alcohol came. <laughs> I yeah. was like, Oh, well, I kind of feel like a dick now. Cause I was saying, but they were dr uh, drinking, I guess, uh, president Clinton's a big scotch fan. The uh, expert or uh, Bill yeah, Clinton. Yeah, so. yeah, I believe that too. <laughs> he would, he would have copped a fucking hiding. I, I can, I can see her getting her, her fucking physical. I reckon they she was a lucky man. What the fuck? They, they never had a solid message. They never, they never. And one of the huge mistakes that she made, I think, was running as a a woman. Like Obama was brilliant in the fact that he never ran as a black man. Right? It was mm. just inconsequential. But no, like, no. Well, that's the problem the with. Does, sorry, that's the ahead. problem with pandering, man. I mean, when it comes to pandering, you know, you can pander to everybody whose vote you're trying to win all fucking day. But the problem with it is, none of it's going to come together as a cohesive central yeah. message. Like it's going to be very clear that nothing, no part of you is in anything that you're saying. You're just saying what you want, what you think they want to hear, and. You know, after a while, it's very clear to see that there's no backbone to your message if there's a message at all. So, you yeah. know, that as far as I'm concerned, that's what destroyed her chances right there. Well, that and she, she never fucking, she didn't do any miles. She didn't go out and see people. Like, yeah, they talk about that. Traveling and fucking and rallies and, and cross knows what the Trump did. She, she fucking stayed home. She was, she was sick. Yep. Um, yeah. Wait, what the fuck? That's weird. What? Sorry, sorry, no. Um, okay, so bearing, I just sent you a link, right, through yeah. Twitter. Um, yeah. oh, it's just, it's just fucking with me. So, like, 
YouTube, YouTube just promoted 19 minutes ago a video from a guy called Tyler Oakley, or girl, I don't know, it's one of these trans videos. Um, mm. <laughs> and the, 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 the account has 7.9 million people subscribed mm. to it. It was published two days ago, but it's only got 70,000 views. Work that out. Is it, uh, is it um, the opposition? Is it a conservative or uh, anti-PC? No, it's well, it's promoted by YouTube, so it's pro-PC as all fuck, I'd imagine. I haven't watched it, but I'm just interested in those metrics. Like, how can, yeah, a, channel on, shit, isn't it? How can sh a channel on 7.9 million subscribers achieve 70,000 in two days? When, yeah, when, does, when does this become like a public utility? where it becomes not just a right, but a necessity. Because it kind of seems like like the mm. phone company, if you start a business, the phone company yep. can't come in and willy-nilly shut your your phone line off because they don't mm. like what you're saying politically. Well, with Sargon, <laughs> you're referring to? Well, just well, we, anyone. Go yeah, ahead. YouTube, YouTube and Twitter and, and all of them. You're right. It's becoming a a, a, a means of, of sort of vital communication. It's like yeah. liken it to like imagine in the, in the in the fucking when did telephones come out in the twenties or thirties or something? Imagine imagine you're on your phone to, on on the phone to your mates, you know, talking about controversial shit, and all of a sudden it hangs up and some cunt goes, "You have been banned for talking about controversial shit." Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I I don't really think that there's really all too much of a difference. I mean, the only real difference there is the fact that telephone conversations were very much with, they were interpersonal, you know, with your friends, with whoever it was that you were talking to, mm -hmm. you know, prior to the internet coming around, there were very few, if any ways at all to broadcast from your personal phone, your opinion to the entire fucking world. And if there was, then I guarantee you, they probably would have come down on it just as hard, you know, as they are nowadays. It's, it's it's not a matter it's not a matter of what you're saying it's a matter of who who is hearing it and how many people are hearing it and what yeah. it can influence what it can ultimately influence you know yeah hey this is interesting uh, i don't know this is bullshit or not but we'll find out uh, phobos media in the chat says did did that fat acceptance speaker really just die now um which, which saying, one people are saying yeah, it's satire one? but people are saying it's satire but the people who say it's satire are posting a fake name for her, Kelly Drinkwater. No, there is a fat acceptance chick called Kelly Drinkwater. She's that huge, enormous heifer that uh, that I did that TED talk video about. Yeah. Um, that's the one. That's the only one whose name oh. I can consistently remember because yeah, her that, last name is just hilarious to me. Yeah, not, not, even, not even Tess Holiday. You can't <laughs> remember that. Remember that. Remember the fucking the two booted legs of pork. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was. <laughs> was that was that old bearing avatar or is that new bearing? Yeah, avatar? it was, but I, but I updated it. I updated it. Okay. Yeah, there, oh, there is okay. some, some chat. How many videos, videos have you updated? Uh no, not, not a huge proportion. Maybe twenty yeah, percent. Doesn't seem like. It. Yeah. Let's see, there's a Reddit thing here, but that, that's probably bullshit. Fat acceptance activist dead from heart attack at 34. Oh, uh, my God. That's okay. Can you do me a favor? Send, send me that link on Twitter, man. I, I got to read that for myself. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, it happens. Interested. Yeah. Well, it's, that's, the, it's not that's an article that needs to just... Death acceptance movement. People. That's an article that needs to just be hoisted up a flagpole. I swear to God, I mean, like oh, no matter I'll, how I'll, accepting I'll you want to be, if that's if that's true, I will I will do a video about that because that's yeah. that's um yeah that should death, be known. Death the Reaper does not care how accepting you are of your fat. Okay. Oh, hang on. There's something here that says uh true. Uh, however, it's fake news, and her real name is Kelly Jean Drinkwater. She's still alive, and the viral article swirling around her. Around the web are wrong, so some cunts made this up. <laughs> um, That's yeah, it happens. It does. Although there was that one with um, the person who was opening their um, letter or something and thought it was like a check for their welfare or like their confirmation for it, but turns out it was just a medical doctor uh, medical certificate saying they have diabetes or something. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that one. Like anybody was going to be surprised, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well hang on, what I was just. It? Oh, there was this there was this thing I was watching a few days ago on Facebook, and this uh, this viral video is going around with this fat person, and they're 
they, they've got this letter and they think that the letter is going to be the government telling them that they're acceptable for welfare benefits. But what it was, was it was a doctor's certificate saying they have diabetes. <laughs> oh. um, so, yeah, everyone in the comments was just like, oh, ha, 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 fuck fat people. I'm like, ah, it's kind of fucking sad. <laughs> yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Oh, mate. I mean, that's, yeah. again, that's why I, I have I to. I don't think this is true. I don't think this is true. And I'm so totally going to gym now after this chat. <laughs> yeah. Again, that's why I have to appreciate, you know, drink waters, uh, her, her gumption, rather. And like, it's to have the last name drink water and to not only be a fat <laughs> fuck, but be a fat acceptance person. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to do it, embrace it. Change your name to drink gravy or something. <laughs> drink syrup. Yeah, we'll <laughs> yeah, drink syrup. Mm. Uh, drink syrup. Oh, yeah, that's up. even better. I don't know. I just imagine that uh, yeah. that scene from Super Troopers where they're where they're ch- where they're chugging the syrup, and I just pictured her face. Well, like, speak of the fucking devil. News dot com dot au. Twenty six minutes ago, Tess Holiday is an obese model, not thick or plus size or curvy. So, right, okay, this should be yeah. interesting. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, I mean, really, that's just a matter of lying to yourself. I mean, of course, if she's intelligent, she's not going to call herself curvy or thick because pretty much anybody who uses those terms has a particular shape in mind. And she knows damn well that that's not hers is not the shape they're thinking of. (laughs) Don't you think that that social pressure serves a purpose, though? Like we we don't yeah. we want people to be healthier. That's why that social pressure exists. Yeah, that's right. Oh, test. Oh, what's this? Tess Holiday went after that stupid viral vi- uh, viral photo with the guy who's just like, I love my fat wife. Did, did you guys see that? Did you guys see well, that? I, no, I didn't. It was a the guy. Was a video, the, there, was, there was this photo that went viral of this guy. He's like hugging his girlfriend on a beach and he's just like, I love how curvy she is and she's brilliant and all oh, the rest. I, I did and, see that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And apparently Tess Holiday did not like this. She mm-hmm. was not happy because he was referring to her as curvy, whereas a real woman with curves is like Tess Holiday. Oh, it was more like, a, oh, right. it was more like a gelatinous bulb of lard. Hang on, um, that's, Tess Holiday. That is the second way to make sure that you know your opinion does not matter to me is to basically start redefining words on your own terms and deciding that you're an authority on what words mean. Yeah, no, Tess like, Holiday is not curvy. She's not curvy. She's fat no. as fuck. No. Yeah, Tess Holiday is curvy like the moon is curvy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She is an odorous lump of misshapen DNA. Yeah. And she has just as many fucking craters as, as well, I'm sure. <laughs> she would do. <laughs> you guys are so bad. Yeah. Shut up. Shut up, Brendan. Oh, no, it's a uh, helping hand is... <laughs> It has very, very unique insults. <laughs> Look, man, all I know is I've is, had plenty of people, especially lately, basically tell me, you know, not to use insults or, you know, take the high road. You know what, man? Look, if me using a few sour words here and there is enough to, like, delegitimize everything else that I said in my argument, then frankly, you know, whoever is saying that, they were not up to the task of, you know, rationally Who's assessing up the argument in the yeah, first place. Yeah, oh, it's just yeah, random, that, just random yeah. people in the comments here and there. I don't get it very often, but when I do, it, it's kind of annoying. It, it really. I is. mean, that's it's part like, of your style, though. I mean, you, it's it a little very much now. is. You, you've been typecast. You can't get it. You can't escape that. Like oh, that's right. Stuff. Hang on, what's his style? To to insult or to not insult? What, what do you well, say? he does these very very creative insults. Yeah, they're does. very. Hey, man, I figure if I'm going to do it, very surgical. <laughs> they are. They are, and they put they often put an image in your head that you kind of can't shake. It's like, ugh. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes they make it easy, man. I mean, I don't know if you saw that video that I did on the whole creators for change. That was all I was thinking oh, I, the entire yeah, time when Amani, yeah. yeah, when Amani came on screen when I was watching that original video. I'm like, God, she's like a human blow up doll in a fucking burqa or in a in a fucking hijab. Like, <laughs> nothing. The only the only Muslim thing about her is the fucking hijab that's on her head. That's it. Like everything Google else. right now is strategizing on how to delete your channel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sh- I'm sure they are. I've been oh, preparing for it. <laughs> You're on the, you're on the list somewhere. They have this big long list. I'm certain that are like, okay, 
Dude, that's why I've been saving all of the source files of all of my videos because as soon as that happens, like mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to be VidMe, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be starting a channel somewhere else if that happens. Yeah, start, 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 start a VidMe and start a mine. Just quickly, uh, this is this is bizarre. Merck says, Bearing, check your Discord messages very eerie. Mm -hmm. oh, I will in a sec. And, yeah. oh, and God damn it. And that's another says, thing I need to do. And don't go back. It's, it's a chat there. within a chat. That's inside your live stream. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a chat within a chat that's inside your live stream. Yeah, so that was some cryptic. I, I didn't that. Oh my god! Slate's running hit pieces against science, what? particularly oh. evolutionary science. Sorry, in, in response against against, of, against yeah. science in general. Against science <laughs> again. Yeah, stop equating science with truth. I just had it linked on my Discord. <laughs> Fucking evolutionary psychology is the most is just the most obvious example fuck you who, fuck who you. wrote that article who's that article is that what's the headline on that because uh, someone sent me an article chanda, that was just... chanda prescott weinstein okay yeah 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 God damn i looked i looked her up on twitter and i'm blocked by her already before, no and i've never shit. even heard of this woman yeah on, so see. i so obviously i logged into my other account <laughs> and i had a look and man ugh. The, the level of crazy. She's, She's a, a uh, particle physicist. physicist. Yes. Yeah. Holy look fuck. At, you got to look at her website and look at the awards that she's won. Like if you're winning an award in physics, like LGBT physics, oh, what? I just, I can't what? imagine the competition. LGBT the physics. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Look at the, look at her website. I can't imagine that the pool to win that award is huge. <laughs> It's probably like <laughs> three people, right? Yeah. Chandra. Is so so the, the headline of the article is equating science with truth. Holy Did you shit. Say that? So yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, no, but this she article, she looks exactly oh. as I thought she would look. But anyway, um, yeah, stop equating I'll link it in the the stream yeah. chat real well, not stream yeah. chat though. The fucking uh, much of the oh. science that resulted from this system conducted primarily by white men. Fuck yeah, that! You should, uh, you, know, you should you should screen share screen share so everyone can see. God damn it! Anytime anybody says right, anything that. along those lines, you know, from from the creationists of you know the the In older the days chat. of the uh, skeptic sharing, community. Greg? It's in. The, uh, I'm I'm not gonna even try and screen share. Honestly, uh, I'll do it. Yeah. I'm I'm not on NBN. Okay, my my upload speed is limited to zero point eight meg a second. It is beyond painful. Oh yeah, you're in shitty internet land. Why don't you guys fix that over there? See, uh, well, we we have we have this conservative government that really doesn't seem to like fun. Um, oh. I don't know why. Yeah, but it's, they, it's a bit of a problem. problem. Yes, <laughs> yes. Much of the much of the science that resulted from the system conducted primarily by white men is what helped teach us that women were the inferior sex. Oh, had, so much bullshit in just that one sentence. Racial, racial taxonomies conveniently confirmed the enslaving African people was a, pri uh, was a perfectly reasonable be behavior since, as Thomas Jefferson put it, black people were inferior to whites. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is difficult to read. Wow. An embodiment. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't want to. I don't want to go too far kind of because charity. I'm probably going to read this and put this on my yeah, channel. Yeah, definitely tonight. covers. There's some raping of Sally Hemings. It's covered. Uh, yes, there is. Oh my yeah, god, this is brilliant. It's, it's Where's this game? Oh, last month a study of women in astronomy and planetary science. Okay. Oh no, I thought that was a journal. I thought that was a journal name. I was going to lose my shit. <laughs> like, like women in astronomy and planetary science. I just would have fucking. I couldn't take that. Yeah. Hilarious. Uh, I'm going to read you her award too. On March 15th, 2017, <laughs> I received the 2017 LGBT plus Physic, uh, physicist <laughs> acknowledgement of excellence award for years. Hang on, hang on. Are, we still on uh, effort. So, so are we still on stop equating science with truth? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Not, not him, but oh, okay. I am, I'm looking at the author's website. What the fuck is this? Should she's I get linking. Inside? She's from... linking things on Twitter. I maintain a decolonizing science reading list. I know. I looked at what that. I read part of that fuck? today. Yeah. <laughs> we have to de hey, hey guys. Hey guys. We have to decolonize science. Don't fuck. I mean, do we though? Okay? Do we really? What the hell? What the hell does that even mean? Like, I I haven't yet to hear. You know what it means. What the 
fuck you know what it reading? means. Anytime what I hear anybody fuck? talking out of their ass about science like this, my only mm. response to them is, I want you to describe to me the scientific method. And you I want them to do it accurately it because un unless they can describe the scientific method to me accurately, everything that they say about science from that point on is just fucking invalid. I'm sorry. Where is her? Is this, is this Chandra, Chandra's website you're talking about? Yes. Me Medium.com? Oh, uh, no, I was just uh, at her. No, okay. Thing on I'm, I'm, I'm clicking on a thing on Twitter. Wait, I, I, mine Dr. says ScreenShare.com. I can't screen share, so I'm trying. Bearing yeah, your screen Ah, you are. I'm, sweet. I'm screen Excellent. Screen. So I'm on the article. Like, where do we yeah. get to? Oh, are we uh, going to a Twitter? Is that where we go? Oh, I went, I went down about can, halfway. The paragraph that I started reading from was by the, by the, uh, by the fold. Here's her Twitter. Oh, you're not yeah. blocked by her bearing? Bullshit. How am I blocked by her and you're not blocked by her? <laughs> Follow her on Twitter. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, ex that's about what I expect. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's like never in interacted <laughs> ever before. In Are you blocked? With a human attached. I'm not. Is. I'm not. I'm perfectly Is that, is that really her, that oh, photo? Okay. Is, that, is that legit her? <laughs> Jesus. That knows. I mean, I'm sure she's nice. That That's knows not... that everything. Oh my god! Yes, I, I'm sure she's nice too. Yes, of course. I mean, she's in the bubble. I mean, she's probably it's a lot, not a lot of air in there. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm. You can be sure of that. She's a little hypocrisic, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I really don't want to judge people based on their appearance, but if I saw that, well, yeah, the you're room, the one I would... doing that over and over. Again. <laughs> I'm reading her article. I love particle <sighs> physics and cosmology, and my research spans cosmological scales from cosmic acceleration to dark oh, matter. Go. I also it have a strong good. interest in feminist philosophy of science. Yeah. Hold on. Looking you heard terrible. that here first. Philosophy of science. <laughs> yes. Yes. I've, I've noticed that there is, in fact, the, the real... put Like, science obviously came from a very philosophical lens, and it became a little bit more empirical over time, and then it became a lot more empirical, and then we were yeah, like, yeah, we can it's... do things with this. But, <laughs> man, there is a lot of a pushback. Like, that philosophies of science is a legit course that I had at, well, at the unis I was going to. Mm -hmm. Like, you could do that. And I'm like, isn't that regressing backwards? Like, should we not That's be... exactly what it is. We, we shouldn't be referring to it as a philosophy. Like, I'm... I'm eh, come on. <laughs> I, read, I read the decolonizing science reading list today, and it really... I'm, I'm always interested in what people's motivations are, and it really seems like... She wants to like feel a a kindred spirit towards her heritage, and she wants science to be a part of that heritage. So she's just kind of manufacturing this history. Like, I would only be interested in those that the perspectives of those that you know believe we need to decolonize science, just based on you know, how best to, what, what angle to best attack it from. Because essentially, if they're going from this, this opening sentiment of we need to decolonize science and, you know, philosophies of science and all this nonsense, then they do not understand how important empiricism is to the modern scientific method and how irrelevant personal belief is, you know? They, they know fuck all you know. about science, but they're going to they're gonna prattle on about it anyway because they have a fucking agenda to fulfill. It's also very interesting. I've, I've been meaning to sit down and actually go through this process and compare the differences between the creationist audiences and the social justice audiences, primarily using Evergreen as a, um, a case study in many respects because, I, I don't know, friend, you, you may have done this probably. Um, have you ever actually sat down, watched these... these um, these conferences and presentations that Evergreen College does, and watched the behavior. Oh no, no, seriously, and watched the watched the um, the body language, the behavior, the um, the social cues that take place within these groups. Like, and then compare it against like a church proceeding. Yeah, they are fucking yeah. identical. They're absolutely oh, yeah. identical. Like my my favorite one is the personal test me's. So you'll have someone come out with some sort of faith-based substance-less statement like, um, I'm oppressed because X race, whatever that is, right? And then right. you'll have people in the audience say, 
They'll, who wants the mic? Does anyone want to give a testimonial? Yes, please. I'll do it. Fine. Yes. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm black and I've been abused by various different things. Someone looked at me wrong today. You know, mm -hmm. And then in, in like a church service, you'll have people go, who's been touched by the light of Jesus Christ? And then, of course, down goes the mic and let's talk around. Amen, brother, you know? Right. It's it's insane. Seriously, if if you get the chance, like, just watch these things. They are creepy. There's actually a guy who does deserve more subscribers. To be honest, um, uh, Benjamin Boyce or Joyce or something like that. Um, Benjamin Joyce. Benjamin Joyce. I'm pretty sure he's. I think he's a faculty at Evergreen, but it's like his entire focus. And the guy breaks these things down quite well. Actually, I think he's done lots of things on it. I'm surprised he doesn't have more coverage because he gets a lot of views per video. He just doesn't seem to get a lot of subscribers, which is kind of bizarre. Mm. So it's not a bad problem to have. I mean I, the views are more important than the subscribers anyway. True. Yeah. That's Benjamin, definitely a lesson Benjamin, I've learned. <laughs> Benjamin Joyce with a with a J? Um yeah. He's got glasses, he's a white guy, bit of a beard. PSA <laughs> Stitch is a guy is a guy you guys should subscribe to. Too. Oh yeah, I saw you on Twitter. Him. He, he's giggles. He is giggles. He's a he's a super smart guy too, and he knows a lot of he knows his shit. Yeah, honestly, that's another pretty good indicator. I mean, the way that they they conduct these meetings as though they were, you know, church sermons, and the fact that they what, would what, pass pass around the microphone like that. Who wants to make a test? Uh, who wants to testify? What's the, what's the takeaway on that, though? What do we learn from that? I mean, what's the? Oh, well, just have a fucking have a, have just a it's like just well, my it's my my preferred hope. Like, I I I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Um, did did any of you guys really take any form of action during like pre two thousand twelve atheist civil war that took place? Uh, were you guys ever involved Hell in the yeah. atheist group? Yes, of course. So I was trolling now, like a mofo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so now, did you notice? And I noticed. I, I noticed this. I thought this was very interesting. Now, of the atheists who deconverted, who changed away from a religion, did you notice just how many of them picked up the feminist positions when the time came? Because at oh, no. least, at least for me, it was almost like the people who had left a religion immediately were like, well, I'll pick up this feminism thing and ran with it in the exact same way as when 2012 hit. So I thought it was I really see interesting. I kind of the other way around. I, I oh, see, I think that they really? were feminist. I think a lot of them were feminists before they were atheists. Like, I see it this way. They, they grow up around religion. Religion mm -hmm. says, you know, women are subservient to men. They don't like that. Freaks them out. They get disgusted by it. They're like, fuck religion. And then they find atheism, right? Mm. But they came to atheism for a very specific reason because they didn't like the way religion treated women. So really they were feminists. But th so, so there are other people that are being thrown in with the atheists in this same way. There are people that don't like blasphemy laws. They're like, ah, I say whatever the fuck I want. You know, I, I want to be able to dip my, my Jesus statue in piss, you know? <laughs> right. So they, that was a big so controversy. They, so they become <laughs> atheists because they don't like people telling them what to do, right? They end up in the atheist pot too. But the, eight, the, the feminist and the people who want to say what they want to say, like they have really nothing in common except for this atheism thing. It just took them a while to figure that out. Yeah, pretty much. They, they were like, well, I thought we were all here because religion shit on women. And they're like, what? Are you just, yeah. I'm no. here because they were telling me what to do. Do you, do so you remember those, Do you remember when the fucking that group of feminists lined up outside the Vatican and, and, and dildo their asses with crucifixes? Fuck that. Oh, was, my that God. Was so oh, funny. my God. No, that's crazy. That was, really? that was a thing that happened. That fucking happened. Look it up. Oh, I really? Oh, I'm oh afraid God. to look. It up, I'm, I'm excited to look it up. Yes. Yeah, See, about, uh, about I, I don't think you should be excited, man. Remember, we are talking about feminists here. <laughs> like, <you're, laughs> it's yeah, not going to be a good yeah, thing yeah, to look yeah, at. Dude, I'm sure. Were they were those people feminists before they were atheists? I think probably so. I mean, mm. if I had to attribute that to anything, I would just attribute it to so many people's need for closure, like the fact that religion for a lot of people, it's not really a matter of you know, needing to know that there's an afterlife and needing to know that there's a God. It's, it's just a matter of needing solid 
con what they at least what they believe are solid concrete answers for things in their life without any ambiguity you know they need to they yeah. need to they need to believe that there is a solid answer and that somebody out there yeah. actually knows it and you get that by you know being in that kind of religious structure where somebody is telling you yeah. what to do and what to believe and it's it's very much the same thing in feminism they tell you what what to think and they tell you what to do with what you think and mm. you know it's it's essentially yeah. the same kind of thing yeah. Well, yeah, that, I mean, you you did say it, and you that, like structure. That's a very good way of pointing it out. Structure, right? Like, this is a very regimented position. There you are. You fall in that line, you're good. You fall out that line, you're bad. Yeah, right. but it's, it's the mixed messages that feminism sends. You know, on one hand, you know, the feminists will say, "Oh, you know, the movement's all about free thought. Women should be should be independent and, and rah rah." But the, the, the second you fall out of line, you, you're fucking, you're just railroaded. That's but, but at the also the same time, feminism isn't a monolith, so no, nothing represents it. So, yeah, yeah. it's it's yeah. a monolith when it's convenient for them, and it's not a monolith when it isn't convenient for them. And now, please witness, be witness to our infinitely expanding tautologies. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Hey, I tell you, I tell you, a, a channel that you guys should have a look at. It's very, very interesting. Is Bombard's body language. Very, very interesting. Okay. She's a, she's she's like a, a body language and, and facial sort of sort of language expert and she she sort of does like she will like assess like you know famous speeches by like Obama or by fucking like wow. I watched one the other day by Linda Sarsour. Oh, and like, she, she, she she just reads their faces and their and their body language and shit and, and sort of you know, has a has a good sort of guess as to what they what they actually mean. It's really interesting. What was the name? Yeah. Bombard uh, body language. Bom Bombard's Bombard. body language. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, found her, found, her, found her a couple of weeks ago. It was really cool. Jesus, she tiny. Yeah. Yeah, 100,000. She, she real. Some, what the fuck? Sometimes I wonder how real that stuff is. Like, How do they do the scientific research on that? To make sure that it's accurate. Well, most of it, like, I mean, I haven't done too much into it. I, I have done some reading on it. With I mean, I'm sure they do. Stuff. I it, think it's. I think it's. It's. It's very much an art you know, as well as a, as a science. Well, it's. It is. It is a big element of therapy, though. You do have to learn how to read people. Interpersonal skills is a big mm -hmm. example of that as well. Any studies into interpersonal skills, you'll come across body language almost immediately. Just the the yeah. studies on um on how people perceive faces alone is a, is quite extensive. Yeah. She's done prints. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, that was her most recent one, I think, isn't it? Prince. Prince. No, no, that was a That's week ago. A week she's ago. Uh, she's, she's now looking into the out. Russia sanctions. She's done fucking oh. Kim Kim Jong Un. Oh, <laughs> Kim Jong Un. Unbelievable. Justin she's Trudeau. I'm going to watch Justin. That'll be fucking golden. You you just be a faggot. <laughs> Putin's pretty interesting too. Yeah. Yeah! Wow. Have you ever noticed that? I think I was watching a, a Putin one, and she she pointed out that um, you, have you ever noticed that you know Putin's how he does a strut? Yeah. When, walk, when he walks. Yeah. Have you ever totally. noticed his, his his left hand right? Or it's either his left or his right hand fucking stays just just dead straight down his side, like only one arm swings, and the other one stays really? like perfectly perfectly um stationary. <laughs> that it sounds like half, half a duck walk. <laughs> Well, it's because um, or half because, a goose like, step. In, I mean, in his in his fucking special services, fucking you know, oh. special forces days, that he, they they taught you to to keep one arm stationary so you could grab your gun. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's exactly. Nice what I was walk, thinking. Mr. Putin. Yeah, <laughs> but, but when you notice it, you really notice. It. You're like, oh fuck, that's really weird. Like you, you're strutting, you're doing the whole strut thing. Your one arm's sort of fucking jiving, the other one's just just dead. You think he's still packing though? He probably is though. Huh? Dead, of course he is. Are you kidding? Yeah, I know. That's well, I mean, even if he isn't, it would it would still make sense that he keeps doing it. I mean, that's something that you would have to. Yeah. program yourself to do though the entire reason we swing our arms in the first place is to keep our balance so if you're actively keeping yourself from doing that it's going to affect your balance until eventually you practice it and yeah. kind of realign how you walk you know to kind of yeah. accommodate for it so it's i would almost think that he would have to like teach himself to rock to walk the right way again yeah yeah, yeah. Um, putin's gonna putin's probably gonna die in office huh He's, oh, that's oh he is never he is never leaving that office. That's still fucking KGB run, dude. That's yeah, no. Nah. 
Wasn't he? Was he the prime minister and then the and then the president? Yeah, and then the president and then the yeah. prime minister. Yeah. He's like going yeah. back and forth. He's got yeah. a nice little racket going. What? How often do they change? Who? You have a prime minister or a president in Australia? Uh, prime minister. Yeah, and we don't and elect how, anything. How often do they change? Oh, so you don't elect the prime minister. You elect the, the well, the what Congress you say we don't, or whatever. What you say we don't elect them. Well, What's no, that? we we don't elect. We don't we don't actually decide who the prime minister is. Oh, we yeah, right. we vote on the party, not the. Not yeah, the, we vote on the party, and then they decide. But the party tells you ahead of time before you vote. They say we're yeah, gonna yeah, pick yeah, this they, guy, yeah. right? They, it's not they, a big get, they can get fucking knifed three days in. You, you don't know. Yeah, you end up with a different. Yeah, we, we we've had a series of very unstable governments over the last yeah. well decade, actually. Really. Oh yeah, wasn't, dude. Wasn't, Ju- wasn't Julia Gillard great? That was fantastic. Yes, we we had a period called the the <laughs> Julia Rudd government, where these two just went back and forth with this poison chalice that is our government. Oh, God. Wow. This, 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 this pathetic little little homo of a man and this fucking this bitch, no, this fucking mi- bitch dragon, mi- Mister Earwax. <laughs> Were they, were they he ate his, he ate his earwax, didn't he? Yeah, he, he ate his earwax. Did you ever see what the what the chaser, <laughs> what how the, the chaser went after that? Holy shit, <laughs> dude. Oh, my oh, God. You, it was vicious. <laughs> your prime minister ate his earwax. Yeah, I forgot about that. I fucking yeah, he, he's, just sit, he's just sitting in parliament, and he's got his little left, he's got his little pinky finger having a dig, and then he just takes it out. Look, no oh, way. Oh, I put it straight in my mouth. Nobody, he didn't think anyone no was watching. Way. And no uh, way. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's fucking hilarious, man. We have some oh. crazy politicians. So how long are they usually there? Because we're like we're Trump for eight years here. Where he's, I don't, well, we I don't have any probably, limit. Do we? we don't have yes. any limit, do we? Uh, really? Well, we don't, we don't have a term. No, we don't have a term limit. Like, and you can keep going as long as you get elected. But we have... Um, was, four, was, Howard, was, Howard, was, Howard, was Howard in for 12, 12 years? years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we forgot. Was, we wow. forgot that we could change yeah. our prime minister at that point. Yeah, like he, well, he was. He was brought in. Have, should st- should still be there. I reckon. He should yeah. still be there. <laughs> Fair I enough. just think it's weird because oh, Dick, like, yeah, oh, yeah. dictators <laughs> die in office. They do. It's and it's got. It's so weird. Like Saddam Hussein was in charge of Iraq for what forty years. That's so crazy. I can't imagine. In the United States, we have a new yeah. president. It's almost like a cultural thing to get a. Like, yeah, we're sick of this guy. Bring on the new guy. Okay. But what, why is there a rule for it, though? Like, what if what if you're on a fucking good thing? What if everyone loves him and it's, the country's going well? You, because you the, Repu- the Republicans got pissed off because FDR would have been in office for 100 years. Yeah, they would have been him. Him. <laughs> So they changed. They changed. Well, they he ended up dying in office. So they changed. I, they must have had everything in the works and changed well, it before. Was he was he the president that was was serving through World War Two? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, and he he's the one that ended up in a wheelchair. Enacted, yeah, yeah, he enacted Social Security, and, and yeah. I mean the the New Deal got us through the Great Depression. Everyone loved FDR. Yeah, there, we, there we go. Dark Dark Six 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 Pagan in the chat says Robert Menzies eighteen years. That's interesting. Jesus. And mm. all I know um, is I what's, really what's his, what's his name? Uh, Churchill served. Churchill was the PM twice in in Britain. Yeah, he was he was through World War Two, and then he, he did another stint, I think, in the fifties, I think, or sixties. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Let me just check that. Well, I know. All I know is not, I need to. He's not going anywhere. It's I funny they have mandatory up global politics. <laughs> they do. They have mandatory voting in in Russia. But I like mandatory like, voting. Mandatory voting? What a joke! No, really? I, I, I think I think it's a good thing. Honestly, I really do. <laughs> no, 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 it's not going to matter or anything, it's but fu- you got it. It's snowing and shit, and it's fucking all miserable. You got to fucking go out and vote <laughs> when you know the fucking result. Yeah, Churchill was was the, was the PM of England from uh, 1940 to 45, and then from 51 to 55. And then, of course, Putin still gets in no matter what. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'd uh, be. A fucking I, I I do agree with mandatory voting at least here, though. Uh, I really oh, I, yeah, I, I yeah, want it. Yeah. Other I than when my, my phone comes, when I fucking forget, I, I agree with it. <laughs> 
How do you forget? You have like so I much don't, time. No, I, I don't forget the big ones. I don't forget the prime minister ones, but the little fucking, the little shit ones, you, the little fucking council ones. Local shit, local I get council, fined for them yeah. all the time. I, I, I love. Them. What's what is what's the fine? Mm-hmm. That's pretty hilarious. It's like oh, you get what do you get fined? You it's like two hundred. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pathetic. I don't, I don't, I've never, I've never paid one. I've never, never paid one in my life. Oh my <laughs> god, it's, it's very. Like they're like parking tickets, and Baring doesn't pay them. Well, they, yeah, they, well, barely, they actually what are they do? Lock, lock me up for not voting. What a fucking joke! You, you're here by sentenced to jail for not voting. Fuck off. Do you have a? Jesus. Do you have the jury thing? Because they threatened to lock me up for uh, for failing to go to jury duty. Oh yeah, we have jury duty. I haven't been summoned ever before, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been summoned. Um, oh, man, my old man up. got summoned once, and, and they they interview you to see if you're gonna be like a, a, a to see if you're gonna be a fucking fucking yeah. impartial fucking thing, and he and I forget what he did, but it was so, something outrageous in his interview or in his questionnaire thing. He's gone, yeah, no, you know, you acted all reasonable. Then right at the end, he's like, but you know, fuck fuck those Asians. I fucking hate Asians. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so so, so he didn't get picked. <laughs> yeah, that's one well, way to do it. <laughs> gaming the system, yeah. You know. I was on jury duty one time and there was a guy that was doing that same thing. He was bragging about it in the hall and you know, he was going to get in the box and he was going to make sure that he didn't get jury duty and he jumped in there and he was like, "Oh, just look at the guy. He just looks guilty." What do you mean? <laughs> just look at him. And the guy was sitting there and I swear I thought he was going to shit his pants. The guy was like, so par- like so petrified. Wow. It was the saddest thing I'd ever seen. I was like, Jesus. What the fuck is the defendant dude. was sitting there? Yeah, the defendant's sitting there. And he's like going, ah, oh, just no. look at him. He just looks guilty. I'm like, That's oh, so my God. Up. This is, uh, I know. I'm like this. I have, I lost all faith in the, in the justice system in that moment because he was totally tainting everyone in the room. <laughs> like, <laughs> Uh, well, that's the problem. I mean, the vast majority of people out there don't see jury duty as any kind of honor. They just see it as a massive chore that's going to waste your time. I mean, yeah, but this guy was <laughs> this guy was doing harm at the same time. The oh, kid yeah. In, ended up, yeah, but he, he, got, he, ended he, up, he it served his purpose. I didn't. He got ahead of it. Uh, the kid copped a plea. Probably oh, because he's right. like everyone in here thinks I look guilty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, yeah. he took he took a plea deal from the the what's it the the prosecutor yeah so who knows like who who knows if he was innocent or not hmm. tough to yeah. say if you if like courtrooms are just uh it's it's hard for me to imagine a lot of justice takes place in courtrooms I mean sometimes it does but maybe it's like fifty fifty I don't know yeah I, I have some doubts on our justice system. Like, I mean, there are some pretty big abuses of justice that take place. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, for sure. The goddamn, the goddamn Innocence Project in America is a brilliant example of that. Oh, I know. Totally. My what's God. the Innocence Project? What's, what's they, so they, they look at people who are essentially on death row or condemned for crimes that are cold cases, and they dig into them. And they start going, okay, let's see how much of this stands up to modern scrutiny. And the amount what of people they exonerate... The they yeah. they find if there's a if there's if DNA can exonerate them they go after those cases because DNA yeah. is like proof right yeah, yeah. that's that's hard to you know fuck with <laughs> that's a pretty solid one so yeah they they exonerate all these people who otherwise would be you know locked away or dying one or the other yeah yeah they've got they've got I don't know how people they've gotten off but they've gotten off quite a few so it just makes you think okay. And, and can you imagine being incarcerated for something that you didn't do? Like being incarcerated is bad enough, but for something yeah. you didn't even do, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. that's just yeah. horror of horrors. Yeah. yeah, and they say it happens much more often than most people would think, too. Yeah, it yeah. would be interesting to have like a you know omniscience and know exactly what it is. It's kind of like with the death penalty. Like I'm I'm hit and miss. There are some people I think who should probably fucking die. Like they are yeah. they are so evil they should probably die. But at the same time, you've got to roll the dice because you know that there will be a certain percent of innocent people you're now condemning to death. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, well, I don't that's, know. That's, that's that's why if it if it if it did sort of exist, it'd have to be fucking for the most extreme extreme cases. Yeah, and with hard evidence, definitely. Oh yeah, you'd, you'd like have incontrovertible to have. evidence. Yeah, I had this read person, somewhere that mm. I had read somewhere that no nation has voted 
no population has voted unanimously to make the death penalty illegal. That it's all, all, always done by elites. So say that, that again. Say that again. <clears throat> that no no population has like no populace has voted by, in a popular election to make the death penalty illegal. That the only way the death penalty is illegal is if Congress or or you know elites basically make the death because the death penalty is illegal in a lot of different nations yeah. right well, in the majority I think it might nations. be illegal there yeah but every time they put it on a ballot with you know the rank and file the normal pop populace they're always in favor of the death penalty right. everyone on this stream has said they're in favor of the death penalty right i'm in favor of the death penalty in certain cases only, in, only in the most extreme, like, like yeah, like exactly. Child rapists and killers and shit, like that sort of shit. Totally, man. totally. I mean, there's some people that deserve it, right? There's some evil fucks out there. Yeah, mm. it's just one of those issues that we're we're never really going to get a unanimous vote on one way or the other. And if we were to even approach doing anything like that, we'd pretty much all have to set all of our, you know, moral preoccupations aside and actually dissect the issue for everything that it is. Uh, most of the people that think about this, they're basically just injecting their own morality into it as to whether or not the person should des deserve to die. And, you know, don't mm -hmm. really think about other things about, you know, the impact on society, what it, w what it costs the taxpayers to house them and keep them alive and so on and so forth. But well, I think people yeah. are more in favor of it when you consider that because they're uh, like, ah, why are we paying for this guy? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, did, exactly. did, did I read somewhere that um, I, I'm sure I read somewhere a few months ago that there was a state thinking about bringing back the electric chair. Was that? <laughs> oh, my I imagine oh my god! Probably. I, I, I don't. That, I'm, I'm, it wouldn't I'm surprise me. Serious, so. They're having huge trouble over here with lethal injection. None of like they're a bunch of activists have have gone after the companies that make the cocktails that they use for lethal injection. So now, yeah. evidently, the chemicals are tough to get. So. Isn't, oh, it also, isn't it also that the chemical, like I remember reading that the chemicals were mostly outsourced from not US based that, soil. That too. Yeah, yeah, and those and those Yeah, those countries it. don't execute. So they're like, we're, this is kind of like stupid. Why are we even doing this? So they just yeah. stopped. And then there was like some of those real horror stories of executions where they'd just be like, like, how can we kill this person? I don't know. Let's just fucking put something in them and hope they die. And people just like yeah. choking to death on the fucking table for like 20 yeah, but minutes. Even still, I would hope that they would, their knee jerk reaction wouldn't be to return to the fucking electric chair. Well, I mean, have well, you heard any of the yeah. horror stories attached to that? This, this, People's this heads was, catching fire and shit. This was going back to hanging. Uh, this was on, on, on March 7th, 2016. Virginia law, Virginia lawmakers vote to bring back electric chair. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God. Uh, Hang on, oh, hang on a sec. And then February 10th, 2017, Mississippi may become fourth state to revamp execution method. What? So Mississippi lawmakers want to bring back the firing squad, electric chair, and gas chambers See, as execution methods. The firing squad I can kind of understand, but gas chambers, nah, let's not go down Nazi paths and let's not go down electric chair. Yeah. Like, just shoot them in the head. What about the old draw and quarter? Well, I wouldn't mind a bit of draw and quarter. Yeah, just theatrics to it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just put them in a coliseum. <laughs> what about? Yeah, let's, let's get a fucking. Let's get all ISIS. Let's chuck them in a cage and, and put like just slowly dip it into a swimming pool or something. And, That's right. one thing I will say about ISIS. They are creative in how they kill people. <laughs> like they, right they really the put tank. a lot of thought into. Well, it. Yeah, they put a lot clearly. of thought into it. They're like, I mean, how can we wrap people in a configuration that when they explode, they'll make a picture? You know, like <laughs> these people, these people put a lot of thought into how they kill not. people. Well, I mean, when the goal is not to be humane, but to send a message, of course, they're going to be fucking creative. Yeah. I mean, yeah. let's face it, you know, the whole reason they would put black bags over people's heads before they put them through the electric chair had nothing to do with them. It had everything no. to do with people in the stands not having to see their eyes bugging out of their fucking heads oh, so yeah. they could convince themselves that it was humane, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah, that's fucked. That would happen, wouldn't it? Oh. Not only would it, it did many times. <laughs> Yeah, fucking fuck. ISIS, though. I wonder how long it'll take before they finally fuck off. Please, please fuck well, off. They, they, ISIS. Just got, they just got fucking. They just got pushed out of uh, out of Mosul. That was good. Yeah, but ISIS is an idea. Like you can fight it, but you kind of have to kill literally everyone to kill the idea. Or yeah, change their that's minds. the problem. Yeah. 
What about when they well, there was one where they put they put like four cunts in a in a car and they and they just shot it with a fucking with a um an RPG. That was, that was a good one. Well, that's you know, a pretty that's a pretty quick way to go as compared to a lot of their other ways. Hey, it's probably one of know, the better ways. If I gotta go, that's how I want to go. Yeah, explain. <laughs> Make it worthy of a story. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be oh, the superhero, sort what, of a, a bit of action hero to it. What about what about that car? Did, did you guys? Okay, this is funny. So a guy had this like electrical company or whatever, and he had this truck, and he sold this <laughs> truck, and it had the logo on it, and that truck went through dealer and dealer and dealer and dealer until it eventually oh, ended up in Syria. And yeah. ISIS <laughs> bolted a fifty caliber to the damn thing and uses a technical, <laughs> and it still got his details on and it. Was, oh. And it was, just, it was just a fucking little guy. It was like Bob's plumbing. Yeah, okay. yeah totally. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did I not hear about that? That's is priceless. this car blowing people away? And it's just yeah. like, call Bob's plumbing with a fucking... Yeah, it is like, he's like, God, that's God, you, really... Would you mind just scraping the decals off? <laughs> yeah, that really makes you question the extremes of, is all publicity really good pl- publicity? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> People calling him up like you, ISIS yeah. sympathizing you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that, that I think they did give him a hard time that. like that. Oh yeah, no, they certainly did. Oh, of course they did. Absolutely. <laughs> they thought they thought he sold his truck to ISIS, like he's like on Craigslist or something. <laughs> Come on. Oh god. Well, let me See, just that ship that it on over to you. Fucking Harris is these two cunts in their, in their yeah, gums. Exactly. Like, like, we, we, we give you we give you four thousand. <laughs> This, is, exactly. this has made me imagine a world where ISIS has corporate sponsorship. Yeah. Like, can you can you imagine like the McDonald's logo on any given vehicle that they decide to attach a fifty cal to? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! This, 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 this execution was brought to you by fucking Burger King. I'm I'm just reading I'm just reading uh, Young Turks's clickbait headlines. I love these, man. They're great. So you've oh, got you mean all of their headlines? Yeah, all of their headlines. You've got breaking North Korea planning Guam attack, and just before that, monster Trump just doubles down on genocidal nuclear war. Like I mean, it's not the other word is capitalized. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not necessarily incorrect, but like, mate, these these titles. What website's that? No, it's Young Turks, dude. Oh, yeah. 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 It's <laughs> Hilarious. Fox News fighting Trump's battle against McConnell something or other. Oh, no, it's just oh. McConnell. Right, okay. Oh, so what's, going on, what's going on with North Korea anyway? Are you guys going to fucking go in or what's happening? With, with... I, oh, mate, they're not going to. They're just, they're saber rattling. <laughs> I hope to Christ they don't do anything, although I'm not necessarily oh, afraid. Oh, mate, but fuck, if you're going to do it, just fucking do it. Like, all gonna, all of their rockets... The all their rockets seem to break up while they're fucking flying. So, like, I'm not necessarily that worried. Yeah. Hey, but, Rez, how are you going? Hey, how are you? Oh, new person. Everyone, this is this is Rez. Rez, Rez. Uh, I think Rez is still a feminist, but she's like she's sort of on the, on the <laughs> yeah. I was going to say on the I'm, oh, I'm working on. No, I'm working on it. Who, who on let it. the SJW? In? Come on, <laughs> boy. Jesus Christ! I'm an X, 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 SJW current. Give us a heads up. Non-extremist <laughs> feminist. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this is interesting. I mean, no, I, I Rez, no, Rez is cool. Rez is cool. Rez is one of be the Be prepared ones. for triggered. Rez is, that, Rez is that one that said to all the SJWs in that stream, no, fuck you, cunts. Bearing's funny. Fuck off. Yeah, totally. <laughs> nice. Yeah, was that all I one, need to hear. Was that one with Sofane or? Uh, no, no. No, no, no. no. no you no, did no, a stream no. with her that I actually listened to. It was really good. You guys talked about the dilemma of bearing. Uh, like yeah. wielding the dilemma, the dilemma of bearing. Oh my god! Well, the no, dilemma no, of bearing. <laughs> no. Uh, the conversation, just to put it in context, was if bearing made a plea with his fans not to bother anyone. You know the yeah. the mm. it wouldn't do shit. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, 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 I think on the contrary, it would, it would, it would cause exactly. Go, go ahead, Darren, sorry. <laughs> and do it. Yeah, out. exactly. You can't tell people what to do; they want to do yeah. it even more. Like, yeah. Come on. It, yeah, if exactly. anything, it would lose you subscribers and they would double down their efforts. Like, I, I don't think they don't understand that you are, you know, you don't have like some kind of control console plugged into all your fan <laughs> heads and you're fucking controlling their actions. Like, it's yeah. unbelievable. Or it people. would be easier if it was that way. Yeah. It would backfire to an extreme. 
And then would. he'd get shit for that. Yeah, you don't I antagonize the you internet. Tell your fans not to be nice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Reg, that last live stream you did with that with that redhead was interesting. He he didn't like me. What, what happened? <laughs> no. What was it? Oh. Yeah, what's oh, this? Res did a, a a live stream with a with a with an SJ. He, he's he's a full on SJW. You, you sort of you, you sucked up his ass. Oh no, you're on SJ. He fucking is. Come on. Well, um, and I guess I have a, a little bit of a higher bar that you have to reach in order to call it an SJW in my eyes. Because yeah, yeah. um, even though his opinions are definitely very SJW, his actions aren't. So I give him a pass yeah. in that regard. Yeah, but he's like he's, he's he's sort of going, oh, but you know, the bearing he's he's racist all the time. He says racist jokes. What and racist? And I have yet to hear a single fucking what. One. Yeah, that's what I said too. Can somebody please point me to a racist joke that he said? Because I I can't find it. Of course, now I'm in a shit storm because I've been uh, I laugh at Ariel Scarcella. Do you know who she is? No, no, unfortunately, I, I don't. I think I've heard the name like a couple times, but. She's an LGBT um, yeah. YouTuber, and she also has the same, well, she has some trans issues because people think she's a big transphobe. And some of the jokes that she's made, like she said a joke one time about how she smelled rice. Oh, no, that was just the Asian guy sitting down next to her. And I thought oh that was God. funny. And that made <laughs> me laugh. But so now me and Ariel are both transphobe, I mean, homophobes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Dude, you oh, fucked racist, up. You homophobic, fucked up this one. transphobic <laughs> pieces of shit because I laugh at jokes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So oh, yeah. are they are they, st are they still are they still dog pile? Are they still like like ganging up on you? Oh yeah, they hate me. Yeah. They hate me. They hate me worse than you. In fact, somebody just invited well, me you're and a Tim. Now. Yeah, oh, you're I know, like right? Sleeping, you're <laughs> sleeping with the enemy here. There, you're a exactly, total traitor. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But no, but here's the thing: I am worse than the enemy because Tim was just invited onto a stream. Somebody just invited Tim and me on a stream, and Tim was like, "Nope, can't do it." And I'm like, "How interesting! He can go what? on a stream with Bearing, but he can't oh, go on no. a stream with me because I went on a stream with Bearing." <laughs> so he's like, yeah. "No, no, she's gonna be on. I'm not going on." <laughs> he said, "We don't get along." That's what he said. We don't get along. If there's one thing I've learned is that they don't need to know your actual opinion to, yeah. you know, to make these judgments about you. All they need to do is make assumptions about it. I've been called a white supremacist on my channel so many times already, and I'm not even fucking white. <laughs> 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 Sons of, I swear. I mean, especially seriously. You should go to the. Well, you know what? No, probably, probably not even anymore. But yeah, that, that uh, video. I did one video on uh, Cynthia G with Reckless Trucker, and oh my god, the shit storm of people coming in calling me a white supremacist. <laughs> Wow, what is this guilt by association bullshit? What is this? The eighteen hundreds? Jesus. Oh, it's twenty seventeen, yeah. eh? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's more than you. <laughs> yeah, 2017 is the 1800s part two. Yeah. It's well, it's funny it because when I first came into this community, I was like, nah, SJWs aren't that bad. What are y'all talking about? And then I got turned on. And I'm like, holy fuck, they're terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. You oh, don't know how bad the storm is until you've actually weathered the fucking storm. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly true, man. It's really right. Because you don't know how real doggone nasty it can be. I mean, I have never been treated like shit by anybody on the anti side. But the shit that the people on the SJW side are still saying to me to this day is mind boggling. Mm. <laughs> so you're, you're a no, capture for us. No, like, we don't get, treat you like shit. You get people like, um, like I noticed Wooly says the exact opposite now. She, she'll go, oh, when I was on the anti side, you know, oh, I got treated like absolute shit and everyone's so nice on this side. Oh, Oh. That's so weird. I, that's she's one mm. chick I just don't understand. Yeah. How do you go from being an anti two to be in an SJW? Do you have like yeah. a, a, a glutton for punishment or something? Yeah. 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 She must have like a boredom kink or something. <laughs> <laughs> I often I there are. Often, she lives in the oh. age of video games. There are less destructive ways to pacify boredom. For fuck's sake. That's you it. would think. <laughs> <laughs> a vibrator would do you better than that. Come on. <laughs> I thought you'd <laughs> switch for drama. Who are these motherfuckers threeing in my chat? What are these threes about, cunts? Threes? <laughs> Dude, yeah, you got threes. Yeah. Ranty yeah. monkey oh, yeah. in there, too. Oh, press one for anti supremacy. Uh, oh. Ranting monkey. Is this, is this you, ranting monkey? I can smell ranting monkey. He's really? in there. He's asking about the t uh, tongue buttering yeah. turtle caves again. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. That we that we need to decode somebody, that particular somebody message. Somebody Google that. <laughs> somebody brave Google that. Come on. Yeah. Or at yeah, least yeah, restructure your sentence, man. Come on. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll, I'll Google it. Now they're why going did, sevens. Did, they're just trying to throw you off, dude. I think why are. did Wooly change sides? What happened there? 
Like, why, why did she? Because she, I don't know. From what I understand, it's all Baring's fault, right? Wasn't it I, all your I, fault? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would love, I would much. honestly love to sit down and talk to her about that because, like, the, the changing of minds is something I'm obviously interested in. I would love to know, really. Like, I, I have seen some of her older sort of tweets where she's just like, oh, she's highlighting them, like, I'm an evil person back then and now I'm better. So, I think yeah, she just did. Yeah, yeah. I think she tried to move up the status hierarchy on this side and just failed. So she was yeah. like, oh, I'm out of here. I, I just well, want to know what her she, negativity she was. With Sargon for, for like a year before she, she did it. So I think I think Sargon sort of wore her out a bit. And then she's like, no, oh, fuck this. I hate all of you. She was oh, fighting see, I thought Sargon? it had something to do with you, Baring. I didn't ever really know, well, but I well, thought it had something to do with a fight with you. I th yeah, I think that was the final was the final straw. But I think Sargon sort of you know, softened her up. <laughs> what did, what did Sargon mean? Sargon, man, y'all are gonna be the oh, ruin of YouTube. Absolutely evil. Yeah, I don't think I ever even really heard all of the details of what happened between you and Wooly. I mean, I, I thought I remembered something about somebody blaming you for like sending your fans after her to make like personal yeah. threats or something. Like what? Yeah, the f well, well, yeah, oh, she, yeah. she was she was she was giving me me shit for for ages, and 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 it got to a point where, and it was all over that over the the, the copyright thing. She just wouldn't wouldn't let up, sort of thing. And I'm like, oh, you know, yeah. we're, we're meant to be friends, you know? Would you would you fuck off? And and so I've I've made this video about her, just you know, like having having a, a fair crack at her, and 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 I brought up a yeah you know, a, a bit of uh, a bit of a skeleton in her closet that she never never really resolved where she she. Um, she never. There was some 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 fundraising money for the for a men's rights activist. Fucking oh campaign, yes, mm -hmm. but never that was never accounted for. And, and yep. Uh, oh yeah. damn. Yeah, and so when I when I mentioned that, that's when she sort of deleted the channel, deleted the fucking Twitter, and it was just, you know, gone. <laughs> and, and so I, basically, I, she so, was just doing anything she could to get the spotlight off of her. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And, and to this, how to this dare day, you but, tell the truth about me, yeah. Baring? If if I bring it up, she she just run for the hills. Like she she honestly does. She she just runs. It's it's quite funny. Ugh. Never yeah. lie to the internet. She was definitely one of the ones yeah. at the beginning who was trying to warn me. Listen, you don't know Baring. You think that you can trust him, but you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, it's funny. I've got, a clip, I've got a clip there, right? I've got a clip there of 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 this time. It was probably a year before, like she sort of she sort of turned where where some people were threatening her kids, right? It's so ironic, and, oh, and I. Yeah. I I went in and, and sort of, you know, like had words with him and, and you know, got the truth out of him and, and told him to fuck off and all that. And I was a hero. There's, there's this, I've got audio of her, her and her husband saying, oh, we love you, Bering. You're so cool, Bering. Oh, I love you. I love you. Yeah, we are. We, we, we owe you, Bering. Oh, I love and, and it's so funny. Like, she, she just she grabs the exact same thing and, and sort of fucking fabricates it against me. Like, this is no, there's, I don't believe those uh, kids were threatened. It's absolutely ridiculous. Cause I, right. Because I, I offered, I said, look, send, send me a copy of, of the actual threat. Yeah, and mm -hmm. if, you've, if you've reported it to the police, send me a copy of the police report and I'll, I'll do my utmost to, to, to make this guy, you know, a, accountable. If, if it's come from my audience, that's not, that's not on. Right. And, and nothing. I don't, I don't see, see why. I didn't you, know that part. I, I don't see why you would, why you would turn that away. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the golden rule at this point. Anytime you hear any SJW, especially the major SJW channels, talking shit about one of the other channels, one of the anti-channels, mm -hmm. just assume that they have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. I mean, mm -hmm. I learned that early. Like, the second video I ever made was in response to Michael Rowland's fuck buddy Tim uh, <laughs> deciding to talk, talk shit about me, saying that I was saying yeah, that... Right. Uh, uh, people who were born transgender were hideous freaks and, you know, that we should be exterminating oh, that's them. That's right, yeah. yeah. So I had to tell him about this friend that I've had since I was about five years old who has is mired with so many disabilities that it's ridiculous. And, you know, basically mm -hmm. I had to relay the story about him moving to another state and it breaking my heart and all of this. And, yeah, any, any amount of respect that I would have ever had for – I'm not going to say that I had any respect for Tim in the first place, but I was – I was reserving my opinion until I could see him, you know, do something retarded. And right there, he set my standard for, you know, what mm -hmm. kind of a person he is and whether or not I'm ever going to have any interaction with him. And yeah. I'm not but interested. Tim is the one that he, he broke my heart the most. Well, I mean, he disappointed me the most because when I was involved in that SJW group, I used to see him get, you know, just pounded for, he went on a stream with like Kraut and some folks 
and oh, everybody Jeff, just gave Jeff him, from that. He played, yeah. he played quick and he gave everybody gave him so much shit yeah. for that. I mean, they treated him like dog shit for that. So he even had to go on and like make an "I'm sorry" video for doing it. So then when he ended up doing the same thing to me, I was like, "What the fuck, dude?" Yeah, that's yeah. right. They're, they're like, they're like, you went on a stream and they played Quiplash and someone in the chat said "nigger." <laughs> and, and oh, and like, Fisty, you... Fisty Winters. That was the biggest thing because he, oh he didn't God. defend Christy every time somebody in the chat said Fisty Winters. Yeah. He got in so much trouble for that. And I'm like, was he really supposed to? And so I'm like one of the only people in the group who was like, dude, Tim, it was no big deal. You're a good guy, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, he ended up going making a video. I'm so sorry. I didn't say Fisty Winters is bad or whatever. Oh, for fuck's sake. He had no I reason didn't... to apologize. He, he had he had fun. Like That's, that's the, the shitty thing, like. There's no reason to apologize. That's exactly all, right. I don't think you should have apologized for it. He didn't do anything wrong. Jesus. Exactly. Um, and by the way, I applaud you for calling her fisty, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, her and I, I don't have any love loss. That's for that's damn sure. Every time I hear that spoken, I just, it's so good that it's not going away. It's. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought it was funny. Have? Like, even when I was her friend, I always thought it was, I don't think why it's that big of a deal. It wasn't cunty splinters or anything. What <laughs> happened with her? You you guys split ways. You were friends oh, with her. Oh, she hates me. Yes, I was friends with her and Tim and the whole lot of them. I was in a right. private Facebook did, group yeah, with yeah, him. Yeah, Riz, Riz was in the, channel, in the right? cabal, man. Riz was in the fucking cabal. Yeah. And then she, and then she she dared to say, "Oh, I, I sort of laughed at, at one of Bering's videos." So was that the end there? Fuck you, get out. We don't like anymore. No, it wasn't I, that. I, they forgave me for for uh, for thinking Bering was funny. They oh, eventually that's... forgave me for that, but then because I then had bearing on a stream on my channel, oh, that was that was that was it. Oh, and you know what's really wow. funny too about the Christy thing, is um, she she when when she was on the stream and I was like, yeah, bearing is funny. She was like, oh yeah, it's no big no big deal for you to find bearing funny. You know, she's yeah. trying to be nice and show that SJWs <sighs> can get along or whatever. And then like mm -hmm. one of her last things she ever said to me is, well, Rez, you wouldn't understand a joke that didn't have the c word in it. <laughs> and I was like, fuck you, c word. <laughs> The, the C word. What is she, fucking yeah. five, five years old? <laughs> well, I just thought it was like she showed her true face in that moment. I was like, ah, there it yeah. is. <laughs> Did, didn't, you, yeah. didn't, didn't, you, didn't you even go to the length of, of, of clearing it? With, didn't you say, I'm going to have bearing on a stream? Just, just I got know? permission. No. The first time I wanted to talk what? to you, I got permit. Yeah, no, no, no. That's I was so hilarious. afraid of getting in trouble with them. I was constantly saying, I'm sorry for things. Like, I'm sorry for this joke. I'm sorry for this. Wow. And I was constantly getting permission. And I got permission for everything I did did with bearing except that last stream which i thought would be okay because i had gotten permission to talk to him all the other times anyways but, yeah, that, but it, that was that was the only time we, we spoke publicly wasn't it i mean I, that was the only time we spoke publicly but i had gotten permission to contact you and then i permission. got permission to have that oh, yeah. yeah well it sounds stupid permission. now i realize now how fucking ridiculous and what a gay piece of shit i was why didn't you just why didn't you just do it like if it was if it was probably, well first like, of all i didn't know you bearing so i thought he might be he may very well record it on his end and put it on oh, there because they were telling oh, me my, oh i see well because yeah, okay, see yeah, what yeah, they were telling me is that what you do is that you cut people's <laughs> things up and make it sound like they're saying things they don't oh, say definitely, definitely so yeah. i didn't know you so i'm like well maybe he's gonna do that may as well come clean right off the bat that i want to talk yeah. to him because maybe they're right about him well turns out they weren't yeah, but you know yeah. wow. Fucking hell. oh that's oh that's yeah that 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 paints a picture <laughs> that's why when I first talked to you, I was like, listen, I'm going to record this on my end. I'm just letting you know so that we have some proof if you try and lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bears and then they too. turn around and they do that exact same thing to him where, who was yeah. it, Michael Michael Rollins and I think Tim, wasn't it, where they, they basically oh, chopped yeah. it up, chopped up the video, tried to make it sound like you were uh, you were defending rape or something. Yeah. Fucking assholes. Oh, that's, that's another thing I don't get. Can you explain to me why they say you're a rape apologist? I've never been able to see anything about that. Uh, this is um, fun. because because there was a there was a video there was a TEDx a TEDx talk where where this woman came out on stage basically and she was promoting this um this app where it was like a it was like a, a beta <laughs> version of this this app that she was proposing where where college kids in America right if they got sexually assaulted. And they and but they were you know too timid or they were too sort of you know just you know weren't weren't quite ready to go to the police. They could re report <coughs> you know the 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 the, the you know, assaulter in this app, right? Mm. And then what it would do is it would it would record you know 
fucking dogs. It would rec <laughs> record these different instances of, of, of sexual assault against this person's name, right? And once it got to, to you know, three people, it would automatically be sent to the cops. <laughs> now, my, my problem with it was she came out with this story that was basically... Um, Look, the, the short version was, you know, Sally goes to a party. She gets really pissed. She sees this guy that she likes um, and she goes home with him. Um, and, you know, the next morning she wakes up and, and she realizes that they had sex. She was raped. That's that's obviously rape. Yeah. yeah. Right? And see, that's every time they bitch about, you know, privilege or the fact that, you know, yeah. white males are the ones that have power in society. Yeah. I mean, it flies right over their heads every time they do something like this. It's basically an yeah. app that's centered around the concept of, you know, defamation of character and slander. Shit that should be yeah. illegal, but, you know, fuck it. For It's it's for the feminism. Think of the women's. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, I, and my, I, my argument was, look, th there's going going by the story that, that this woman has, has come out on stage and, and told, that's that's just not right. That's not right. Like if, if if they're the only details that we have, she went home with some guy. She was pissed. She wakes up in the morning. She realizes they had 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 sex, and there oh there was something else. Yes, she, there was. There was she, one she, very key thing. She re yeah, yeah. She want she she remembers wanting it to was it she remembers wanting it to stop. Was that it? Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, and <laughs> did she say it. she wanted it to stop? No, no. right. No, yeah, she's she reminded. She she remembers thinking she wanted it to stop. But it, it, it's not just that. I remember <laughs> the streams. I remember the streams that are also going on and on and on about the nature of how drunk she was. So the the blackout versus passing out, and you were like, blackout's not passing out. Like mm, there's a right. difference. She wasn't passed out. She's still like aware. She's just not remembering things at this point. Yeah. Like. Yeah. But yeah, right. blackout drunk means you you don't remember a portion of the night. It doesn't mean you're. you're yeah. Your but brain. the other people don't know that you're blacked out, so they don't know no. that you're not capable of giving consent. Exactly. And, 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 and the other thing is, you could, you, you could be. Hmm? You go. No, you go. I was just going to say, there was one time when I was younger, I got so fucking drunk on tequila, I lost the entire night. But people were telling me for the next three months the shit that I did that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I'll, Man, I'll send you a copy. Of the it's yeah, it's quite interesting. But this, but there was some so there was some debates surrounding that where. Where, where they, because I, I would just would not accept that he was a, a, a rapist. He was a rapist. Mm. Just dead said he was a rapist. I'm well, yeah. all of a sudden a rape apologist. Man, yeah. That, that was, I mean, if you're blackout, if you're blackout drunk and you remember a certain part of that night, you know, you wanting it to stop. Not even you have the context surrounding that. For all you know, you were laying on like a hairbrush or something, and you wanted that part <laughs> to stop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the funny thing is, I got I ended up getting. That's how I met uh, Nick Nick McLean. He's a he's a, a lawyer from the US. He's actually a, a uh, he's an ex um, state prosecutor. He used to he used to prosecute cases of, of rape and sexual assault. I actually um, got him on a, on a live stream and explained the whole thing to him, showed him the video, and he he said, "Yeah, no, you, you you're dead right. You know, going off what we have here, there's no way that's a that's a that's a you know that's not rape. It's just not." Now, Barry, yeah, you I should mean, put me in touch with that guy. There are some, there are a few things I'd like to pick his brain about, honestly. Yeah, sure. How do I get away with rape? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right. Man, are you oh kidding? Like, yeah. I'm Although kidding. That, I'm kidding. I, I expect that concept to be more common in the next days here in Australia, though. Considering you, we just you wear a clown report. mask and you run when you're done. Oh <laughs> yeah, that that, that that report. Yeah, that's a shocker, isn't it? I that could have happened? done. No, I could have done a full out. I'm I'm seriously considering doing a follow up video to it. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Okay. So if, for everyone that hasn't watched my, my recent video, um, so the Australian Human Rights Commission put out a survey and it's a very large survey. It's pretty, pretty reasonable sample size, 30,000 different respondents, but the way they collect the information and particularly the way they ask questions and a whole number of other mm. things, basically they took <coughs> what essentially is an incredibly infrequent event and es escalated it to 51% of all students are affected by sexual harassment or assault mm. and mm. just leave it at that. The, 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 the problem that I had with it was when it was reported in, in, the, in the media, most yeah. of the headlines were sexual assault report is damning. Yes. And then, yeah. and then Subtitle would be you know, harassment. Rah, rah. So, so the, it gives you the impression that fifty-one percent of, of college students are, are being sexually assaulted, yeah. and that's it's, what six percent. 
And, and the funny thing is, like, I, I called them and I'm like, hey, guys, do you have like an SPSS document or at least an Excel something? Can I have your raw data? Because I've got a few analyses I'd like to run on this. They're like, nah, nah oh go, go, go away, go away. <laughs> of course. Like, really? No one... <laughs> that's fucking surprising, isn't it? The, the other thing is, um, it, Bering, have you actually looked at the document? You may, you probably haven't, but like, I'm just. Oh, I haven't looked at the document, but what I have looked at is the, is the, uh, is, is the Human Rights Commission's um, definition of. Of, of sexual harassment, like the, the, <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the leering and, and uncomfortable yes, staring. Yes. So, if a, so if a bloke stares at a, at a woman or makes, yeah. makes suggest, suggestive or yeah. rude jokes yeah. at a woman, that's yeah. sexual oh harassment. God. And, and they're, oh lumping that in with sexual, they're lumping so that in with rape. <laughs> did, did you, did you actually, did you actually watch my video, Barry? Out of question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, out of out of the out of the questions they have, staring was obviously the highest fucking category across the board yeah. of harassment. Of course, then jokes after that. But the things that really matter, like the physical contact and the invasion of privacy and the invasion of personal space, the things that actually, frankly, really do matter, they're yeah. seven five three percent of the sample. Uh, they're, wow. they're not. They're not a significant majority at all. They're not even close. And and, that's, even, and, that, and, and that's that's not to say that that's not an issue. It's, no, 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 of course not. To not. Say that but it's but, not fifty-one percent. But it's you know, skews, right. it massively skews the fucking the it skews not only reality, that. and so we can't take action based on reality when we're well. And if you include us. like li staring at somebody, well, then I'm a rapist every fucking day of the week. Yeah. No, <laughs> that makes me so wonder. People live around me. And not only that, <laughs> not only did they include they 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 framed it as this notion of like I didn't include this in the video because I, I actually cut so much crap out of this. There's so much to talk about. Um, mm. they they also <laughs> if you take a look at where they're counting these things into their sample as if they're actually worthwhile. They talk about in their headlines everything being an on-campus event, but there's yeah. so many things there that have nothing to do with being on campus. Basically, it's just, are you a vaguely labeled uni student? You've been affected by this. Yeah, okay, cool. Right. That, that's really it. So, so if then, some bloke stares at you on the train, it's it's counted. Yeah, if you're, if you're a uni Doesn't student. Doesn't that just... Doesn't that just make you wonder how many innocent men there are out there that have lazy eyes that Probably. are, you know, <laughs> that are getting <laughs> fucked over and being they fingered for rape? Your Honor, so. it's my also, eyes. Also, also the, rec the recommendations for change these people put out there? Holy Christ, dude. Oh, I don't recall God. that. What was it? What was it all about? Oh, uh, dude. That. Some of these, rec they, they have an entire section on recommendation for change, and most of them are basically re-education camps. Oh my like, god, dude! It's what? it's fucking and and not, it's not always not actual not camps. no not not camps but re-education yeah. of but particularly men. <laughs> what, but, re -educate what is someone with a lazy eye? What what is oh, really on, interesting about it is that yeah. how it's prefaced because it's obviously an emotional statement. So what they go is they go, look, this is absolutely dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. You have to do this right now. Do it. Don't question. Just do it. Yeah. Recommendations now. Like oh man. Yeah. Wow. Besides, man, you know they're and not they, going to be called camps have, anyway. And they have <laughs> they'll probably call them retreats. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> workshops. <laughs> Relearning re, re workshops. Yeah, right. <laughs> but they also they also had um what was it they they had connections with the group the hunting ground if you guys have ever heard oh, that before right. yeah, yeah. dude what the fuck they they had connections <laughs> with um a group called end, end rape on campus now. So, like, really, you know, but it's okay everywhere else. Yeah, the, the purpose, the purpose of these the hunting people. ground was a was a documentary. Uh, yes. an amazing docu did you see uh, Gary Awesome did a did a, a satire of it called the Grunting Hound. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. God. So, like the the whole thing is insane. Uh, I I got I got stonewalled by the ABC, utterly fucking stonewalled. Did you? Um, because again, I you know, as a feminist, I disagree with your analysis. That like, yeah, that's that's what they said to me. Um, and the Sky News people were just like, "Oh, this is great. Thanks. We've already done our things on this, but you you know, it's a week old, so we're not going to touch it." It's like, come on. Yeah. Come on. It's, it's, it's another it's, obvious reason why this, this whole decolonized science bullshit doesn't deserve to be taken seriously, because not only do they not understand the importance of empiricism, they also don't understand the importance of transparency. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, see, the, the Human Rights Commission should have given you their raw data. They're a fucking they're a public agency, for Christ's sake. That's well, true. That seems crazy that they wouldn't. I mean, it was one call. What are you hiding? Probably. 
Uh, I should probably call them back and see if I can do it again, but the video is done. Like, I mean, it was on the very day things had been put out, so it could have just simply been them going, no, nah, we don't really care at this point. We'll let, you know, go through it. Because most of it was, no, nah, no, nah, it's all in the documents, all in the documents, all in, which it isn't, but... Yeah, yeah but you should, surely you, you should be able to get a freedom of information or order on that. Oh, if I if I wanted to push it, yeah. I could. I could. I could chase legal reasons if I really wanted yeah. to push it. Yeah. I would ask you to refor- to record that phone call, but I know <laughs> it would be such a shit storm if you did. <laughs> well, yeah, they they people don't really like phone calls being recorded. So no, they don't. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, I've but, worked yeah, my yeah. fair share of call centers. Trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just quickly. Uh, what do we got? Um, uh, James says the justice system is screwed. Look at what Hillary did with the emails. If you look uh, into the laws, she commuted, uh, she c- committed treason, uh, and looking into the penalty for it is actually hanging. Is that true? <laughs> hanging? I don't think no, I don't. America has hanging anymore. I don't think we hang people anymore um, now. Actually, Wrong. actually, actually, hang on, slow down. Okay. The, the 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 formal penalty for cattle rustling in Texas. He's hanging. <laughs> oh, okay. just, if if a farmer catches, catches you stealing a fucking cow in Texas, they can hang you. No, oh, jeez. No, I'm from that yeah. state. Yeah. Uh, right That's wing, embarrassing. Right wing BDSM guy says, someone mentioned death by SNU. SNU, fuck yes. What's SNU? I have no idea. That's when we were talking about the ISIS thing. I don't know if it's like... <laughs> yeah, how far back in the chat are you? Yeah, this is a fair way back. Um, <laughs> right wing BDSM guy also says, res feminism is, res feminism is pure ass cancer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, yeah. was, that was to you, Rez. Is that aimed at Rez? And James says, what are the essentials to getting my own channel going? Sorry if this throws the conversation off. We just got to start one and start making videos, man. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. That's that's a pretty essential point. Don't yeah. think about it as a big part of it. Yeah, just and also in. make sure you're putting all your videos on VidMe too, because YouTube is yeah. doing all kinds of funky shit. Yeah, and everybody has maybe. their reasons, man. As soon as Michael yeah. Rowland said that he was an appreciator of language, and then pr- then proved, you know, proceeded to prove that he doesn't understand how it works, <laughs> that was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Now yeah. you're fucking with the things I love. Okay, Michael, <laughs> yeah. it's time to destroy you now. Unless that was the first video you did, wasn't it? Was that the first one you did? Yeah, that was my very first one ever, where I had to yeah, explain to him how words work. Yeah. If you're an SJW, though, evidently you have to get permission from Christy Winters before you start. Your <laughs> yeah. So, well, we but even that, that ahead of time. doesn't mean very much of anything. It really depends yeah. upon what side you're on. Oh, right. well, very much so. You can be on the free speech side or you can be on something else. Yeah, well, that's what I found out. If you're on the side where you have to ask permission, then you're on the wrong side. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's pretty much exactly it. Yeah, exactly right. Hey, guys, I better, I better wrap it up. Sugar Tisa just got home with some lunch and she'll be death staring me from out the other side of that door <laughs> if I don't hurry the fuck up. Yeah. So, right on. That's, so, tec- um, that's technically a rape charge, isn't it? From what it, we hear. It is. It is. She's female. Don't let, her, don't let her give you the gaze. Double standard doesn't work. <laughs> I'm telling yeah. you, man, if you ever get, if you ever end up with a lazy eye, start wearing dark sunglasses. Because people are going to start accusing you. I swear to God, man, I'm not looking at you. (laughs) I'm looking two feet to your left. Please don't report me to the app. (laughs) Thanks for having us on, Barry. Yeah. yeah, no worries. No, it was good to good to have you. It was, it was a great chat. Thanks, uh, thanks for coming on, Res and, and uh, friended and yeah, everyone. That was uh, that was cool. Great. Yeah, have yeah. a good yeah. night. Absolutely. All right, yeah, we'll take do care, everyone. All right, cheers. Bye. Bye.